Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, cause it's Friday. It should, it should be. Is it going? Come on now. Hello? Oh, shoot. Okay. Try it again. Hello? Okay, we got sound, we got picture. I guess I just need to refresh this bad boy. And double, 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 double check. All right, I can see myself. You got sound, we got picture. We should be ready to go. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Yakuza Fridays. Every Friday is Yakuza Friday. Yakuza Fridays are the best. I mean, it's just best because it's Friday. Thank you. Okay, so I got to say my thank yous. Oh, motherfucker. Damn it. Urgh. How can I be so bad at this? Okay, cool. Um, all right, so thank yous. In, I was like, I don't need that screen up. And then it turned out I did. Okay, thank you to Yarny Charlie and Violet Veracity for the follows. Appreciate it. And... We're good. Okay, hi, my name is Allie. I'm from OK To Be Fat because it is OK To Be Fat and this is Friday and it is the stream. And we're good to go. Can't stop, na 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 na. It's your Friday night. Do 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 okay payouts just the pleasure king area oh right i just had a beat em up on the last stream right before we ended to correct issues with this area so let's scooty scoot all right hmm i've got training I've got the bar. Um, welcome, 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 welcome to the stream. Oh no, Foxy the stream cat is here. Oh no. Foxy, is it time for stream cat time? All right. Hi, baby. How are you? You are a good kitty. Yes, you are. She came over to see what's going on and be like, hey. You're not doing anything. Why don't you pet the cat? I was like, I am doing something. And she's like, meh, are you? Nothing important. Nothing important. So why won't you pet the cat? Pet the cat! So, I'm petting the cat. You gotta pet the cat. When the cat wants to be petted, those are the cat rules. And we all have to abide by the cat rules. So... We are still in a little bit of a grindy part. Yarny Charlie, hey, how's it going? Thanks for that follow. Get punched in the face. Wah! That was a good one. Punch, punch. Wham! All right. You can get also much. I hope everybody's having a nice day. I had like a couple of like kind of crappy days. Um, and then um, today was like a lot better and I'm like, yay. I do have a little bit of a cold, um, which kind of sucks. Like, I'm like, how can I get a cold when I can't go anywhere? But apparently you still can. So, that's happening. Hurrah. But, um, apologies if I'm a little bit coughing. I did take some cold medicine, so hopefully that'll take care of it. So I'm not coughing on the stream. Stream cat, you had your time. You had your time. It's up there. Up there, Foxy. 
When it's not on the stream, that's your time. But down here, down here on the stream, this is our time. It's our time down here on the stream. On the stream, it's our time. <laughs> On the last day before you start depression leave, which is a good thing for a few weeks. Oh, good. Having leave when you need, um, when you need it is so key and, like, important. And, um, being able to take mental health leave is, like, it's such a blessing, like, when people are able to do it. Um, so I'm, like, really glad for you. <laughs> there was a point where I was, like, contemplating trying to get leave, um and then did not because of reasons. Hey, are you mad? Shiny suit man, give me your money. Oh, there he goes. He was not difficult. I'm sorry that you're um I'm sorry that you are depressed to the point where you need leave over it though. That's like that's that's rough. But I'm glad you had to leave. All right, so now like faint pants. Yes, I'm gonna go do. I've decided that we need a new Friday ritual for the stream, because I haven't done this for Fridays, but I should. And the Friday ritual is we're gonna go dance to the Friday song. Oh, my sweet, sweet crime himbo. I love you so much, Kiryu. I will enjoy my time at Maharaja. Okay, I just need to go over here. I really wish you could run inside buildings, but sh alas, you cannot. It's so hard to get over internal stigma. Yeah, I know. It is, I mean, I, my, I was worried not about like needing the leave even though I definitely did need it it was more like I was worried about like how other people were going to react to taking it so it's it's one of those things where it's like technically it's available legally it's available socially is it available I'm not sure that in some cases it is and that's unfortunate because like I had to take leave off after I had a kidney infection where I ended up having a pick line and having to do like antibiotic like into the pick line at home and like could not work for like almost two months. And I got leave for that, no problem, you know? It's just like, mental health issues and physical health issues are not the same thing, but they're both important. And I don't feel, and I know that we just don't like treat them with the same level of importance, at least not in the United States where I live. Which song do you want me to put on for you? This one. All right, who's ready? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it on hard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I'll try it. All right, who's ready for your Friday night? That's, we don't need a reason for joy. It's from the lyrics from this song. That's what I titled the stream. Oh, my baby! Here he goes. This is gonna be a massacre. I'm gonna do so poorly. Okay. I'm gonna try, I'm, tr I'm gonna try though. Oh my god! Oh, I did it! It 
It's your Friday night! Oh shit. Oh no! I'm losing it! Oh! That wasn't bad! That was better than I thought. Yes! You get the little points of like, I did it. Oh, that's okay. Leaving the party already? Come back soon, all right? All right. All right, I'm gonna, since I'm already in here, oh, that's the new government, that's the new government. I'm gonna go. This place is impossible. It's like a, it looks the same no matter where you turn. All right, I'm gonna try this dance battle with this girl, um, just to see how it goes with the understanding that probably I'm not gonna pass it, but we'll just give it a try, so we're already in here. Oh, hi, Kitty Akun. Are you back for another go round on the dance floor with me? I challenge you. <laughs> sure, I think I can show you a good time. <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, it's the Queen of Passion. Okay, let our dance battle begin. Yes! not enough but I'm still glad I got both of them yeah both of my disco fevers all right all right I just need to practice a little bit in my original go around of playing this game I never finished the dance battle <laughs> sub storyline because it's so hard like I got past her but I think there's like two more people. So I got all, all the way to the last person and then just like, just was like, cause Josh wanted to get this like secret boss battle that you could get. And I was just like, honey, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> Ooh, nice try. Damn it. But Kitty Kun, I know you're capable of so much more. If you wanna try entertaining me again, I'll be waiting right here. I think one of, I, I love and participate in the, uh, like, I mean, I don't really participate in it, but I, I do quite enjoy the, uh, how the fuck do I get out of here? Here we go. The, um, Yakuza subreddit, um, because it's just like, it's just really, it's, it's just really sweet. He needs a sparklier suit and he'll be her. I mean, I, yes. Yes, sparkle your suit. That's the ticket. Okay, so da -da -da -da. do I got any sub stories popped? Ah, it's looking like no. All right, let's see if the business is completed. Business is completed. Let's go get our business money. 
Because what we are doing right now is business grinding. So we can get through the business part. Because you need money. Because there's no XP in this game. There's, like, just money. And so you put... Which I think is, like... I'm so fascinated by how they used um, money as, like, a sort of place setting. Um, because this is, like... As we will learn later in uh, Yakuza Kwame 1, uh, this is uh, the Japanese bubble economy. Um, oh, that's my guy! So, like, everything is, like, kind of wildly expensive. Um, like, all the upgrades are, like, wildly expensive. And, um... Oh, I'm like, I know you're back here! But you also have, like, butt-tons of money on you all the time. And people will, like, that you f that you fight sometimes end up giving you these plates that are worth, like, massive amounts of money. And then when you go from that to Kwame 1... Oh, look, it's this guy. Like, you end up kind of where, like, it's, it's, a, it's this, like, jolt. Because it's, like, a lot harder to get money. Um, but things cost less. But it's just, like... They move to like an XP based system, but right now, because of the way that it is, you have to like actually spend money to unlock things. And so it's just all this like gobs of money all the time, which like sets it really distinctly in Japan in the 80s, which I think is really cool. You, you were there with the shroomer. Hmm? You're. You're the mafia boss who took Kitajima the shroomer to Europe. Yes, yes! Kitajima and I were working together every day to cr Oh, they are working. Oh, they were- Kitajima and- I'm just like, I'm just gonna start over. Kitajima and I were working together every day to create the number one mushroom pasta in all of Europe. And this stream cat is back. What's Kitajima up to now? He is still in Europe, making mushrooms. The man's got talent. I see. Then what are you doing back in Kimurocho? Well... That's the thing. Kitajima has such a head for business that I've run out of things to do at work. I asked Kitajima for some time off and came back here, back to where it all started. Kamurocho. Uh, he's your boss now? But I'm starting to get bored with playing tourist and Kamurocho by myself. I'm looking for excitement. Isn't there anything exciting going on? I can't really think of anything, unless... Would you be interested in joining the security staff at my company? Security? Ah, that sounds like fun. It's just what I need to get back my killer instinct after making pasta all the time. Grazie. I accept your offer. I shall join your firm. That was a terrible Italian accent, and I apologize. Um, the mafia boss has joined your team as security staff. First name Mafia, last name Boss. Hehehe. He he. I haven't tasted the blood of my enemies in a long time. I can't wait. You know I'm not asking for anything like that, right? Anyway, welcome aboard. Let's get the payout. Wiener, wiener, wiener cat. There's a wiener cat, and she's right here. Give me the payout. Nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... Everybody S ranked, not quite. Oh, so close. So I, um, I'm like, I realize I like never really explained the uh, how the mini game works here, or I mean, I kind of did, but whatever. Like you get these properties. Um, it's. 
a little bit unclear as to whether or not you're like investing in them or owning them, but I think it's investing. Ah, uh, Mama-san, thank you so much. And you invest in them. And as you do that, it pumps up how much money they generate. And then this kind of becomes your like income for all of the like gobs of money that you're gonna need. Okay, so I think everything's either invested or it's at an S. Oh wait, I need to check the staff. Okay, so I gotta Actually, you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through and just take everyone off. Okay. Now we'll go back and start. Okay, so this guy, you can be the manager. That's fine. You can also be the security. So I defeated the Leisure King, so this area is no longer in contention. And now I am working on, I guess, the Electronics yeah, King area, because it's the cheapest, or the next cheapest. Pachinko. I was like, when will these games let me play Pachinko? And then they did, and I was like, I don't know if I like this. This is not fun. So, that's my bad. Okay, I can get one more out of her here. I'll sign him there. That one's good. And so now... Okay, cool. Ranked it up. So the Leisure King was like... Have some money for properties. Okay. Um, he's on duty already. Ooh. I will assign him. Mama son, fix this place up for me. Thank you. Okay, staff, and then we'll just staff it up. We gotta have staff in case there's a money battle. Okay, so this is the only other guy I got left. He's on duty. all their, like, uh, stars and whatnot, then, um, they can't defend as much against people, so it makes, like, the collection kind of more of a pain in the butt. So. If you switch them to another location, it, like, reboots the whole process. Alright, so, looks good. I guess I'll talk to you. Hey. Oh, yes, Kiryu-san, I forgot to tell you about upgrading the interior. You mean the decor here? Yes. I have an old connection who can help us change the interior of our office. For free, even. Free, huh? I mean, I paid for it in completion points, but sure. Now that you mention it, it's kind of boring if we're looking at the same four walls all the time. Might be good to change things up. I completely agree. If you want to upgrade the interior, just let me know. Upgrade me. I will upgrade. Um, give me the cool red. Ooh, very nifty and still very 80s. Ah, everything feels fresh. Let me know if you want to change it again. Cool. 
Still can't go back there. Render unto me the boombox! No. I guess it's not time for that. Okay, so I can... This is why it's grindy, because I'm like, well, I think I can maybe buy, like, one property now. If I'm lucky. Um... So let me just do that, and then we'll wait for the payout, and then we will rinse and repeat until uh, we get through this part. I think for the most part it's paced pretty well. Like you can't actually do the whole um, real estate mission without pushing the story forward, which I think is good, but. I thought I would try to knock out as much of it as is possible to do. Okay, so I'm just looking for like an indicator that's like, yeah, this is a thing that you can purchase. So I'll come back and just start over here. No, that's the Don Quixote. No one owns the Don Quixote. It belongs to all. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Sorry. Papo, I don't think you can buy a Papo. Oh, it's that guy. Okay, once I figure this out... Hey, there's one. Cabaret Valentine. This cabaret is pretty famous around this area. What should I do? Oh, shit. No, I cannot purchase that. Oh my god. Alright, I must be in, like the wrong area because that is oh boy that is expensive I think maybe I have a plate I can sell that's not really going to help that much but eh, might as well try okay yes, hello yes, yes. I would like to sell plates please I don't even know if I have a plate um That gold champagne. I do. I don't. Arigato. I was just confused. Bye. There's so many purses in here. The like hostess purse to to um to pawn store like pipeline must be like wild. Um. Oh, I was gonna say. I one of the things that I think is um very funny is that it's. Seems. Uh oh. Oh no! Someone's getting mugged. Somebody help! Nothing to see here. Or do you want to be my new punching bag? I will intervene. I'm the kind of punching bag that punches back. A tough guy, eh? You're dead. Oh no, the delinquents! It's time. Punch, punch. Get him! You got got, son! Oh, he's... Yeah, he's pretty well done for him. Gave him a good kick. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Thanks. I don't know what I would have done without you. Please take this. You got a slightly bladdered gold plate. Gold plate pretty good. Okay. Am I just like in the wrong area? Business. Electronics king area. Okay. I'm not. I just haven't found anything yet. So it doesn't go fully into the next street. Is what I'm seeing here. Alright. Up through here. Any of this a thing? Hello? Ooh, a vending machine. I see you. Not any of this. No, nothing. Ah, please don't hit me. Ah! Please don't hit me! Hmm? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You're not the victim here, you filth! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Quit making a scene! People will think we're the bad guys! 
going on? But take it easy. You're clearly stronger than her. Uh huh? Huh? Stay out of this. This woman is filth and she needs to learn her lesson. This is rude and now you're going to get punished. Yeah. No way. I'm not going to sit back while you guys beat up a defenseless woman. Uh huh? Huh? Well then, we'll just have to kick your ass first then. You can't you can't watch if you're out cold. <laughs> That makes sense, except the kicking my ass part. Real funny. Eat this. Now we will beat up the street thugs. That's right, bitch. Oh. Oh, you've got... Okay. He's got a stun gun. Man, fuck your stun gun. Oh, man. These guys have some, like... They have some stuff. Oh! Oh! He exploded money! Amaze! Oh, come on, dude. Now who's got a stun gun? It's me! Got him! Ugh! P please, enough! Stop! Sorry for that ruckus. Yeah. Oh no, not at all. You saved my life. Thank you so much. Please take this. You got a toughness C. Oh. I should know that's not nearly enough for saving me. Yeah. No, no, it's too much already. Yeah. Oh, please. I couldn't possibly let you go with so little. If I may, I would like to thank you more fittingly. Do you have some time? Yes, I am free. Yes, I'm free for a bit, but... Oh, you do? Thank you. But this is hardly the place. Can we go somewhere where we can sit and talk? Uh. Sure. I do not remember this substory. Josh probably must have done it without me. Or I just forgot about it. That's also possible. Thank you again for saving me. I'm also sorry for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Nezu. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-san, I'm sorry I asked you to join me here, but I simply couldn't let you go without thinking properly. Uh. It's no problem, but what exactly did you have in mind? Uh. Yes, yes. I shouldn't keep you. This is it. Mm. Is that some kind of soda? It's aha water! Oh, okay. Nice logo. Aha, water? Yes. Drinking it removes impurities from your blood. Your circulation will improve noticeably. <laughs> it leaves your face feeling supple and smooth. It can also be used for cooking. It enhances all the delicious natural flavors of the ingredients. Oh, that's impressive. My diet hasn't been the greatest lately. I do worry about my health. A man living on his own can easily slide into poor eating habits. Yes, that's completely understandable. Kiryu-san, since you saved my life, I can give you a huge discount on this. Oh, shit! Aha water costs 1.5 million yen for a month's supply. For you? I can offer it at just a million yen. Nani. What? This water costs so much that a million is a discount? It's only natural that one should spend money on a product this fantastic. You can't put a price on your health. Mm. But just drinking this water will do that? Oh, sweetie. <sighs> yes, yes. It does wonders for your vitality. I hear that men... Oh, no. Oh, no! <sighs> Alright, here we go. I... Mm. 
<laughs> I can't. I hear that men benefit from, <laughs> from steel hard firmness, too. <laughs> you know, down, down there, you know. Sweetie, he might not know. Smooth circulation, supple skin. Oh! <laughs> and steel vitality. You know, down there in your toes. He's like, steel vitality. What, you mean like, in my area? <laughs> yes, in your area. Ample resolve, ready to spring into action. So, you will buy AHA water for a million yen? <laughs> yes, I will. Okay, you convinced me. I'll buy it. Oh, sweetie. He fall for everything. <laughs> I knew you would come around. Then we'll process your payment and member registration. Uh. Got it. Wait, member registration? Good. That's all the paperwork. I'll have your first month's supplies sent to your office, Kiryu-san. Is that okay? Uh. Sure. And don't forget what I said earlier. Please tell your friends and family about AHA Water. It's an opportunity for you to earn money, too. This lady is on some Amway shit. That's what this is. Aha water is Amway. <laughs> right. Yes. I'm looking forward to that part. Member registration. Oh no! Oh no, because it's a synonym for penis. I get it! I'm so glad we could have this conversation. This is how I had hoped to thank you. By getting you involved with some Amway shit. Yes, I get it. I appreciate the business tips. I think this will be really lucrative. <sighs> oh, sweetie. <laughs> it's wonderful that you catch on so quickly. Well, we're done. You can look forward to your first delivery soon. Uh. Sure. I'll be waiting for my aha water. Welp, I, I guess you're getting Kiryu involved in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Sounds good. I love a pyramid scheme. I, I don't actually hate them. Um, oh, the payout's ready. Sweet. Time to get paid. Oh. Oh, wait. I should go back to Cafe Alps and eat food because I can do that. So I saved this lady from getting her ass beat, and she was like, let me rope you into a pyramid scheme. Man, that really is how pyramid schemes work. MLMs, my butt. There are pyramid schemes. Welcome. I will order a food. Can I see the menu? Here it is. Please let me know when you're ready to order. I will have a tea, and a strawberry parfait, a chocolate parfait, and a cake set. Pretty good. This is great. Delicious. This is good. Excellent. Thank you. I will. Oh, wait. Let me check my equipment. Oh, no. I've got the card watcher on. Okay. So, like, I never found... What's the names of the things that I'm looking for? Maybe that would help me locate them. Okay. Business... Business, my business. Tempo sh Okay, so I'm looking for Shokukichi Camera, Pachinko Aloha, Tenpa Sushi, Tempo Sushi, Lovely Bunny, Beijing Chinese Eatery, Amusement Game U, and the Nakamichi Street Sega, which I have to complete a outrun based sub story to get. I want to buy one more property before I go over there and restart this whole... Oh, oh, that should be one. Lovely Bunny. It's one of those popular cabaret clubs. I hear it does good business these days. What should I do? Purchase it. Alright. Now... Where am I at? Now I go... Sorry, lady. Ooh. 
guys making noises? Someone was making real odd noises. President Kiryu? What on earth is this? Mm -hmm. Oh! The aha water's here. Great. Mm -hmm. Aha water? Uh. Yeah. If you drink this water, it removes impurities from your blood and improves your circulation. It'll also leave your skin supple and smooth. And cooking with it is supposed to make any food taste really good. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> you want to buy some too? It only costs 1.5 million yen, and if you introduce your friends to this water, you can earn some money too. You can't lose. Aww. What? That's a textbook pyramid scheme. What's a pyramid scheme? It's an illegal sales method that adds more and more buyers through its own network. How could you fall for something like this? Yeah. Actually, I was just going to drink all the AHA water. Come on, Mr. President. AHA water? More like boo-hoo. AHA? More like ha-ha. They bled you dry, Kiryu-san. I can't believe it. I'm going to throw this weird water away. Hey, wait! Don't! I guess I've been had. That's right, sweetie. That That is what happened. Well, time to get the payout. Cool. Next. Alright. I guess I could have tried to get more than one property. Oh well, it's fine. Okay. Staff looks great. Everybody. Now rank up. Yes. S level. S level. Everything to be an S level. Cool. Now we're getting some cash money. Popo. Oh, Popo, you're killing me. Everything but the Popo. Staff looks good. Okay. Staff. Okay, so I need to take her off. I'll just swap them. Oh, wait. Uh, what? What did I just do? There we go. I don't does it. Put the Leisure King in. Now we make investments. So I'm just going by like the ranking system of double circle being the best. Then circle is below that, and then triangle is below that. So I'm just trying to find people who have good. The masochistic man is like a little better than the other dude because he ranks you up a little faster. He's more expensive though. So I just gotta assign Suchiko as the manager. That guy's fine. Invest. Like, don't forget to invest in yourself. I won't. I just want to get like a solid stream of cash money going here. Mama-san, make this place a success. Thank you. All right. Alright. Now we got money. 
Woo! I love money. Okay, so... Time to buy another property, and then I guess I'll run up to... Maybe we could do Telephone Club. Telephone Club is fun. I could do... A little bit of Mahjong, because I still got Mahjong completion that I'm working on. Drunkard. No more, I can't. Someone getting mugged. This person's getting mugged. Somebody help. Nothing to see here. Or do you want to be my new punching bag? I'm the kind of punching bag that punches back. A tough guy, eh? A wise guy, eh? You're dead. Oh, there he goes. Got him. Let's do the thing with the orange again. And now I got him. Wham! Never stops being fun. And they're down. I saved you. I'm sorry it won't happen again. Thanks. I don't know what I would have done without you. Please take this. You got a slightly battered top of plate. I won't do it again. I bet you you don't. Put some stuff away. Limited inventory. Do, do, do. Okay, so that's. I'm gonna go this way. I think, yeah. Ooh, I think I can eat, so I'm just gonna scooch down to the Cafe Alps. Eat a food. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you, that you um, were able to come by. I had fun. Uh, hopefully, you know, maybe I'll yes, see. I here. hope, hope, uh, talking. I hope to see you again soon. And, um, you know, have uh, as good a time as you can at work. And um, have a good weekend. And see you again soon. Thank you so much. Order a food. Can I see the menu? Have the toast set. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> Wait, are all the tables in here video games? Okay, so not all of them, but an amount. Mm -hmm. Foxy, you're a good lady. All right. We have good times. Okay, so I'm on Nakamichi. Go to business, business. That is Nakamichi. Alright, let's just keep poking around. Oh, that's one! Tenpo Sushi. The sushi isn't the best, but for $100 a, a plate on a conveyor belt, you can't complain. What should I do? Purchase. Tempo Sushi was received. Oh, the Electronics King. I got a C Classic? What is it? It's got to be like a... Like a fishing pole, I guess. Okay. So, let's go see what, you know what, I am going to try for some of the Mahjong completion, because Mahjong is the best. Like, the Yakuza to Mahjong pipeline cannot be underestimated, because most of the, like, 
when you're looking up online strategies in English for Rishi Mahjong, which is the Japanese version, like, there's a bunch of stuff to look at, and there's tons of pages, and there's all this stuff, but, like, in addition, almost all of them have some kind of, like, so, are you trying to brute force your way through the Yakuza completion? Because if you are, here's some ways you can do that, and you don't need to uh, necessarily Ooh. learn all the names of the hands and how everything works. If you just have a few strategies, you can do it like this. Um, that's kind of what I was doing in the beginning, but like I just ended up liking it so much. Want to play Mahjong? Don't expect much from us. We're just average at this game. It's uh, 250,000 to join. I will play. Okay. But... So I started with some of these, like, brute forcing it. Oh, I don't need that. strategies and kind of thinking about it like in the way that you would think about rummy and then just got really fascinated with it and um the guy who writes all of the um you know i am gonna do it there's like Almost all of the Mahjong, not the Mahjong, the uh, Yakuza FAQ guides, which are the, you know, kind of invaluable guides everyone is using um, to do these games, are, like, all written by, like, one guy, which is fascinating. And, um, he says in some of his guides later on that, um... I'm going for Chanta, even though it's a mistake. I'm still gonna do it. Um, I never get it. It's a type of, uh, hand, but I'm gonna try for it anyway. It's like, chance is a mistake, but we're gonna try it because I don't know when to quit. That's a six. Oh. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna get it. Um. Jeez. But I'm like, I'm gonna go for it. I'm trying it. See. Mm, mistakes were made. No, I want. That's an eight. I'll keep the eight. With the nines or the threes? We'll just dump out of this one three and see how it goes. Yeah. Oh. I don't have a yak here. So. One of the things that you have to know about Mahjong is that in order to um, go out like you would go out and rummy and like win the game, you have to have um, a Yaku. Jeez. Jeez. And what a Yaku is, is basically it's like kind of like a hand in poker. So, um, you can kind of think of it that way. So it's like rummy, but you kind of have to make certain hands or else you can't do anything with your hand. And there's also like different rules about stealing and discards and if you've discarded certain things then you can't do certain other things and it gets like really complicated like it's one of the things where like if you learn it it seems like oh yeah I could learn this thing and oh. then as you learn it it becomes <laughs> more complicated the more you understand about it the more complicated it is but it's fascinating I think It's like, the more I can recognize kind of pulling different um, hands and like knowing what the hands are, like what the Yakus are, like helps me to kind of remember like what I should 
kind of be building towards. And, like, discards and stuff. Oh no! Oh. Oh. All simples, which is Tanya. No points, which is Pinfu. Dora three. That is a rough hand. Camo Tony just about lost his whole shirt there. All right, so I've got a north. This is a south, so I don't need that. I have three, three, six, seven, three, five, six, nine, one, four, seven, and then two green dragons. Keep this four, ditch out of the nine. One of the good strategies that you can use to start with, with this game if you're just getting started with it, is to um, try for what they call all simples, or the Tanyao. And to do that, the best thing to do is um, get rid of all of your honors tiles to start with. Um, so like all of these are honors. So this is east, these are the green dragons, and that's the red dragon. So if you ditch out all of your honors and then get rid of the terminals which are the one and the nine then and then make a hand that is uh tanya oh. and that's a pretty easy hand to make to go for to start with um also if you have two dragons then you can steal to make another like to make a triplet and then you always like that's always a yaku so that's a good one to try for in the beginning, too. Don't steal unless you know Jeez. why you're stealing and for what purpose. And, um, get a little cheat sheet if you can't remember the characters. That's what I did. So now I'm on a, um, a two-sided weight, or a two, uh, not a two-sided weight, but a two-tile weight, um, for a triplet in either the sixes or the threes <laughs> which I got one of my mates nice you've been robbed on boy Yaku Hai Yaku Hai each okay so I'm west um, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm west. These are both south tiles. We're in the east round, and I am in the west seat. The, um, the, uh, winds, like, rotate counterclockwise. So the south winds don't do anything for me, because I'm not in the south seat. So these two have come, two white dragons have come out, so I'm going to discard that one. So that's west. This is north. I'm gonna get rid of north and keep the west and see how that does. I mean, this hand is so bad. Yes. I'm gonna do it. Because the other one came out already, and if I didn't take that one, that was gonna be it. Okay, so I'll get rid of that too. And I need to start kind of dipping out of some of these, so... Okay. So now I could be going for, like, Chanta. Tier Fantastico, hi! How are you... Excuse me. How are you doing? How's your day going? Um... Chanta or Toy Toy with this. Um... Which is not bad. And I could conceivably get... So Chanta is all of the... Every meld that you make has to have a terminal an honor, or an honor tile in it. So I have nines and ones. And um, these are both honors. And then I have a pair of ones. So I'm not, like, 
necessarily set up for Chanta, but I'm not not set up for Chanta. Um, I could also go go for Toy Toy, we'll which is I just mean, like I... three triplets. And it doesn't matter because that guy runned. Is that Camo Tony again? Camo Tony is getting the business. I thought I was going to miss the whole stream because you started broadcasting right after I started a really long commuter trip in Train Simulator 2021, but it turns out if you make the train go without closing the passenger doors first, it's an immediate fail, so here I am. Oh, no! That's... I did not know that. I've never played that game. Okay, so I'm still west because because the person who there's a four round hand, but because the person who is the east dealer won, he's still the dealer and we don't go forward and it is still east round three. And it'll just keep being east round three until that guy loses. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean it is kinda of fair, I agree. Can't make that because two are out already. I keep like I am like Chanta, like Josh is with like a uh, uh, how do you say it? Chuitsu? All pairs. I mean like it's a uh, Chuitsu. It's way more fun than I would have thought. I bought it out of sheer curiosity when it was on Humble Bundle for Canadian dollar uh, twenty one, and then I discovered it's really nice and soothing just driving the train. I put on podcasts while I drive. That sounds nice. You know, I can really relate to that. Um, the search of like soothing sounds and uh, oh. and experiences is an experience that like led me to being that into this mahjong in the first place. So there's still a chance with this white dragon, and I still got, like, I'm holding out for a hero until the end of the night with these uh, red dragons. Ah, oh. there we go. Josh had never seen the video for um, the I Need a Hero um, lady, and I was like, what? What do you mean? And then I made him watch it, and he was just like, What is this goofiness? What is this goofy nonsense you're making me watch? Okay, okay, so this is Toy Toy. All right, this is not bad. Okay, so it's very goofy. It's, um, there's, there's the women who sing the ooh, 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 ooh. Wah! Part like they're like dancing around in like um flowy uh, white uh. outfits and <sighs> okay so this will be the pair yes this is sensible okay so now I'm tenpai no he frowned on me how dare oh, oh how dare you narrow wataru we have beef. It's very goofy. Um, it's not as goofy as um, Total Eclipse of the Heart, which is also by... Um... Oh my god. This is quite the setup. Uh, Bonnie Tyler is the name of the artist. Can I reach? No. I'm so close to reach with this. This is wild. I'm just going to keep those wins and see what happens. Um, no, man. No. I wanna... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not west, so it doesn't make any sense to do that. Oh! 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 It's a con! Yes! Yes! <laughs> I just need the, I just need the three of characters or the three one. 
I'm trying to learn the correct terminology so that when I'm watching my Mahjong animes, I can follow what's going on. Because we finished Akagi, and now I'm, I'm like, well, we're watching Food Wars. And then um, I did tell Josh that I wanted to uh, watch more JoJo's. But once we do that, I'm like, there's other Mahjong animes, and so clearly I need to watch those. Oh. I need someone to help me find, like, a copy of the anime that is about um, George W. Bush, the Prime Minister of Japan, and Kim Jong-il playing Mahjong. Um, I need that to happen. I can't find it anywhere, and I need to see it. Yes. Now, who is the one who got Ronda on Narrow Wataru? Now, who is the one? It's you. All right. Quit game. I'm going to save my uh, winnings. I'm amazed that this is a whole genre. I was just like, I know that there are are mangas about everything, and I know a lot of those. Ma I know there's manga about wine tasting and baseball, like tons of stuff about baseball, and there's stuff about um. All right, let's go get the payout. There's stuff about um cooking and cooking battles, and I was just like, there must be mahjong. And then I said, there has to be Mahjong, and people were like, yeah, obviously there is. And then I looked it up, and there was not just one, but, like, many. It's like, not only that, there's, like, I believe, at least three, like, um, like, Mahjong, like, manga magazine? Like... I don't know if they're weekly or monthly, I'm not sure, but like, it's like Shonen Jump, but like manga and like that, and I'm just like, it must be very popular. Like, Akagi was going for over 20 years. See, that's the thing that got me really interested because I was like, okay, so the Akagi anime just ends. It's just like, okay, it's over. And then, and because Akagi is having this Mahjong battle with this guy, Washizu, who is the monster of the, um, the monster of the, sh uh, the Showa era. And so he's this guy who is like, oh, punch, punch. All connected, right? up in the military and up in like um the government he had like blackmail on everybody oh he's so rude and he was rich and like and he was like everyone bowed to me and like because of that i guess he for reasons of just like i I have so much power, no one can stop me, and also, like, I'm so rich, I don't know what it feels like to feel things. So he just, like, decides that what he's gonna do is set up this whole, like, mahjong vampire serial killer death trap whatnot, and, like, he just is grabbing people up off the street and being like, you will play me, oh my gosh. You've done it, Mr. President. We've taken over 30% of the Electronic King's area. <laughs> Let's keep increasing our share. Uh. Yeah. Speaking of which, what can you tell me about this Electronics King guy? If I remember correctly, he looks like an otaku. Mm. The Electronics King is a member of the Five Billionaires who controls the area around Nakamichi Street. He apparently has an IQ of 190. IQ is fake. And it's racist, just FYI. Um, and he made his fortune by developing and investing in cutting edge technology. 90. An IQ of 190. That would be something if it was real. Um, 
Never would have guessed it from the look of him. Yeah. That's not the only surprise. What are smart people supposed to look like, sweetie? Um, he's also supposed to be quite good at fighting, despite appearances. Mm. The word is that a bunch of young thugs who consider that area to be their turf fought the Electronics King, but wound up joining his crew instead. He's a, he's a nerd, but he's a hard nerd. So he's got brains, brawn, and a gang for when those fail. Mm. Yes. Since we'll be making moves on their territory, we'll probably wind up clashing with them often. So the Electronics King managed to tame a bunch of wild thugs, of young thugs, and his IQ, blah, blah. I'd better watch out. Well, at any rate... Render unto me the boombox! Is that not until the next chapter? It probably is. Okay. Give me money! Yes! I've earned a billion yen! Okay. Alright. Yeah, so like... Okay, did I have everything? No, the popo still needs a little help. Yes, Papo's done. Everything's done. Excellent. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Staff looks fine. Staff is fine. Ooh, he's not fine. Uh... Whatever. This guy's a wiener, but I'll put him in. So, like... Yeah, like, Washizu, the monster of the Showa era, the guy who, the, like, Mahjong vampire, the serial killer of Mahjong, like, makes people, like, bet him their blood in order to, um, like, against his money... And then he makes them play Washizu Mahjong, which is like where... So in Mahjong, every tile has like four um, copies of it. And so three of the tiles are clear. And so you can see through them and see like what people have. And then one of them has a, like a black back on it. So there's some of the tiles you can't tell what they are and some of them you can and so you can kind of like see what people are doing and like and it was a thing that they made up for the akagi anime except people are not the anime the manga except people are like now have made it into like a thing and so now i think like you can i think you can buy washizu mahjong, mahjong like sets um which I it's gonna change like the whole strategy of the game which is why they came up with it in the first place um excellent okay um mama-san there you are Okay. There we go. Cool. So, like, what's wild, though, is that the, the Mahjong match between Washizu and Akagi, like, took 20 years to publish. On a monthly basis. Ooh. And I'm just like... What? What did they do? I must know. And then, um... Oh, no. Someone else is getting mugged. Can you help me, please? What are you staring at, eh? Want to get your face rearranged? You are the one whose face will be rearranged. You bunch of cowards think this is fun. Aw, someone wants to be a hero. You're going to regret this. Is 
So I said all that in my ADD way to say this, which is that like the Maj the Akagi anime in like in the middle of the Washizu match because they made this anime um like at the beginning of I think in the two thousand either the end of the nineties or the early two thousands. And the Washizu mar like art in the manga goes from nineteen ninety seven until 2017! Which is wild! Yes! So the anime just kind of ends at a certain point. Okay, it's tough to see. We're like, okay, so Akagi has like, the, he draws his blood when he loses points and he has the option to have the blood like retransfused somehow so he can get his blood back. But like, he don't, but Akagi is like, nah, nah, I'm not going to do that. And the reason why, Pachinko Aloha, I heard the machines here are loose, but I wonder if that's true. What should I do? Oh, we gonna buy that. Buy five electronic skins properties. All right, cool. Um, let's go buy the completion guy. And so, like, Akagi is basically like, no, it like displeases the luck. If like, you know, I need to stay on the edge with my luck, and like, I'll win the luck back to me by like refusing to take the safe route which is like that oh cool and so like to demonstrate that and he keeps making Rishizu like give him money and he, he never ever takes his blood back okay we'll try to get through some of this a little faster and so No, I'm not going the way I want to go. Yeah, so like... Fight? Where you at? Oh, there you are. You're just like... Hmm? Well, I'm glad you didn't miss the stream. Even though I'm just like steady just recounting the plot of Akagi. Oh my god! Got him! Oh, I need to go eat food. Okay. Alright, let's go down. Oh, wait. I'm near Kushi number one star, so I'll go there. Um. Yeah, so Akagi throws his blood away instead of getting it transfused back. Like, he puts it in an ashtray and throws cigarette butts in it. And the guy who bet his arm that Akagi would win is like, what are you doing? And Akagi's just like, you gotta be in it to win it, buddy. <laughs> Anton, hi! How's it going? <laughs> and then, after he throws all his blood away, the anime is like, and it was, and it was a great, and, and he taunts with Shizu and calls him a coward, and he's like, get ready for the next round. And then, like, the, the anime is just like, and it was a great battle that everyone talked about for the rest of time. And Josh and I are like, whoa, back it up. What the fuck do you mean? They're still in the middle of the thing. And so um, that's when I started like digging to be like, but why? And then it, it turned out that the anime finished like 15 years before the, the manga finished the arc. And so that's what the thing was. I'm doing pretty good today. Thank you for asking. Um, I had like a kind of rough, like, day um, yesterday and a little bit on Wednesday, and like today was a lot more chill, and that that's what I want. I just want things to be chill. Ugh, I guess I'm just not cut out to be a police officer. Mm -hmm. That's the cop who's always doing the stop and searches. He seems a bit down since our last talk. I 
I promise I'll stop talking about Akagi. Oh. I probably won't, but I might. Hey, you holding up okay? Oh, oh Kiryu-san. Actually, I... Um... Uh... I'm just... Mm -hmm. What? You want me to show you what I have on me? Yeah. No. No, not right now. I'm thinking about quitting the force. Nani? You should. You should quit. Because cops suck. What? You're quitting? What you said the other day got me thinking. I've been thinking about my old partner. He was killed in the line of duty. I wonder what he'd think if he saw me now. He gave his life to save me. And for what? So I could stand here all day questioning people? I've failed him. Don't be a cop, Kikuchi. Yeah. Oh, come on. No, it's true. I've done nothing but stop and searches for so long. That's all I know how to do. I'm a disgrace. Just, just do something else. Dot, dot, dot. I've made up my mind. After today, I'm going to turn in my... No, stop it, please. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What's your problem? I told you I'd give you 30 grand. So be a good girl. Come have some fun with us at the hotel. No, I'm not interested. Relax. There'll be other girls there. We'll have a party. Mm -hmm. No, but I... How about 35 grand, then? That should do it, right? Uh? You don't want to piss us off, or we might have to get rough with you. <laughs> yeah, heh <laughs> heh. No, please. Those guys are up to no good. And they're... Dangus enough to do it right in front of a cop. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hold it, you two. This is no place for kids to be hanging around. Show me what you're carrying. Uh? What are you doing? This isn't the time for that. Can't you see that woman over there needs help? Uh, but all I'm good for is stopping searches. I'm not a tough guy. You're a police officer. It's your job to look out for people. Oh, sweetie, you're in the Yakuza and that's what you think cops do? I'm too scared. I don't want any more blood on my hands. I couldn't handle it. Not again. So you're just going to turn your back on her? Run and hide every time something bad happens? Well, maybe. If your partner could see you now, I bet he'd be pretty disappointed in you. Ah! What are you going to do now? Will you seriously turn a blind eye to someone who needs your help? Think about what your partner would do in this situation. Well, he'd... <sighs> no, I can't. I don't have it in me. Fine. If you won't help her, I will. Oh. Oh. Oi. Hey, let the girl go. Huh? Who the fuck are you? Mind your own business. Yeah, we're having a nice little chat here. Stay out of this. Sorry, I've got to admit, I've never been able to walk past trash without tossing it in the garbage. Pretty sick burn, kid you. Huh? Say what? Did you just call us trash? I sure did, trash monster. <laughs> you better watch your mouth, tough guy. Stick your nose where it don't belong, and it'll get snipped off. Snip, snip. Nani? What? Oh. That's not a sick bird. Wait, that looks like a knife. Guy, don't even worry. Kiryu gets stabbed all the time. It's not even a big deal. If I don't do something, Kiryu-san could get stabbed. Just like my partner. I can't. I can't let that happen again. Eat this. Yeah. Huh? Good. Woo. Kiryu san? Good. You're safe. Are you okay? I was frantic. I just had to do something. Huh? The hell? Now little pigs come to squeal on us. You ruined the nice little surprise I had planned. 
Hey, do you even understand how dangerous it is to use knives like that? Oh, buddy, you really shouldn't be a cop. Somebody could get killed. <laughs> ha, that's the point. Hey, ham bones. If you don't want to get carved up, best turn tail and march back to your pig pen, huh? My partner. He'd never back down. Huh? Huh? What's this guy rambling about? Now's your chance, miss. Get out of here. Hi. Okay. Damn it. Don't let her get away. Not so fast. You're coming back to the station with me. Huh? You're dead meat, asshole. <laughs> now that's more like it. Kill you, son? It's my duty as a citizen to assist the police when needed. <laughs> Whatever. Don't sweat too much over the details, okay? Much appreciated. Fuck the both of you. You gonna get your ass kicked right in front of this bunny lady club. Oh, there we go. Now who's got a gun? Or a knife? It's me. Oh! How you like, how you like knives now? Got him. Well, anyway, now we're watching Food Wars, and it is wild, and I think it's funny. And also, it's like, I'm like, ooh, that does sound good. Good, tasty food. Gah, he's too tough. Damn it. I wanted to take them back to the station, but they got away. Thanks for the help back there. Though I was done for, I thought I was done for when they came at me from behind. You did not. It... Heartstrings music. It was just like the time my old partner got stabbed. When I saw your life was in danger, the adrenaline kicked in. <laughs> I'm so glad you're all right, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody! Hey, it's not that big of a deal. There's something I need to thank you for, too. If it wasn't for you, I would have ran from the situation like I always do. This time, I stood my ground. But it was only because you gave me the push I needed. Yeah? It feels good to conquer your fears, doesn't it? Yeah. My partner would never have run if he saw someone in trouble. He'd be the first to lend a hand. <sighs> I'm still a nervous wreck inside, though. I was so terrified, my whole body was shaking. I bet my partner was looking down at me, laughing at how goofy I looked. He was always a little mean. <laughs> Heh. Oh, I don't know about that. I think you'd be really proud of you. Just like I, your dad, am proud of you. Huh? Ano. Um, excuse me. What's wrong? Are those guys still chasing you? Uh, it's just... Mm hmm? Thank you for helping me. You were so dashing. Mm -hmm. w wait, what? I was? I Now victory music. I just wanted to tell you how grateful I am. Oh, and I want you to have this. Sacrifice stone. Alright, I never use those. I I have to get going. Bye. Nice. She called you dashing. Me? Dashing? Uh. Well, when she was scared out of her wits, it was you who came to her aid. That pretty much makes you a knight in shining armor in her book. you san I've made up my mind. I've decided not to quit the force. Aww. Oh. I'm gonna stick with police work, and I'll give it all I got. Yeah? Right now, stop and searches are about all I'm good for. I'm not much of a cop, but I'm ready to step up and face everything I've been running from. Then one day, I'll be a first-rate officer like my partner was. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Good luck. Uh, see if you see some guy named Date. <laughs> I 
Uh, we'll be looking for him later. Oh, and uh, Kiryu-san, mind if I do a quick stop and search? What? Right now? Yes, it'll be quick. Oh, come on. I knew you had something special, Kiryu-san. Special? Yes, that's right. A kind heart. Huh? Mm. I was a cop who couldn't face his job, and you snapped me out of it. I bet your plan was to boost my confidence all along, wasn't it? Mm. Huh, maybe. But I can see you had something special, too. Mm. Huh? Something that made you dig deep when it counted. Courage! <laughs> Haha, -ha, okay, now you're overdoing it. Well, that makes two of us. I guess that's something else you need to work on. I... Yes, I will. Thanks for all of your help. You became friends with Officer Stop and Search Kikuchi. All right. Where am I at? Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do now, because some of y'all were not on the stream when I did this to start with, so we're just going to have a little extra Friday time and do a little Friday stream thing. Special Friday time. After I beat up this guy, because he probably has a lot of money. Come on, guy. All right. Two million. Heck yeah. Okay. Cool. So now, special new Friday thing. Dash over there. Hi, Foxy. You've already been here twice. You coming back? Yes, I got my dashing. Now who's dashing? It's me. LOL. Okay. New Friday thing. There is a new Friday thing. Specifically for this game. Heck yeah. New Friday thing. I do want to show off my sweet, sick moves. Yes, this is the Friday night thing. Da, da, da. It's your Friday night. Yeah, we don't need a reason for joy is from the lyrics, at least where I looked them up. That's what it said. <laughs> Hell yeah! Now, I put it on hard because I don't have the completion for that, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it, so we'll see. Oh, look at his little sweet goofy. Eh? Sweet little goofiness. I love him. Oh no! Oh god! Yes! Let's party! Oh no! Friday! <laughs> Ooh, I got it! That's awesome! 
I should do one more since I'm apparently on a disco roll. Maybe I can get another completion point out of the way. What would I like to put on? Okay, I'll try Queen of Passion on normal. And that'll be disco time. I wanna show you my passion. At least once or twice on a Friday stream, I should come into the disco and play the Friday night song. Um, and what inspired that thought was uh, that people are kind of posting, you know, Friday night gifts in the uh, Yakuza subreddit. And I was like, oh, yeah, because it's Friday. So, that's inspired by, uh, all my, uh, Yakuza subreddit, uh, Kayo days. <laughs> Yakuza subreddit bros. It's a really nice subreddit. I got some, uh, I got some Reddit awards on a, uh, um, piece of fan art that I put up, and I was extremely pleased. Alright. Whack! Yeah, I was just so happy about it. Um I'm also, like, I was, uh, kind of showing Josh the, like, continual, um, I can't get that one yet, it's too expensive. There's, like, a sort of continual, like, you know, joke argument that's kind of always going on, um, about whether or not Kiryu fucks. Um, or has fucked. And, like, um, oh, here he is, he's gonna come join my, uh, real estate. Ah, Kiryu-san, how have you been? Hey, Kikuchi. How's your police work going? Thanks to you, Kiryu-san. I can handle police work other than routine stop and searches now. Good. I'm glad. But since I only did stop and searches for the longest time, I'm hopelessly out of shape. In fact, I've been messing up a lot. A police officer ought to be much stronger. True. I'm sure there are times when you'd have to physically intervene to break up fights or capture suspects by force. Boo, cops, boo. Yes, I need to get back in shape somehow, but I haven't found the right opportunity to do it yet. Getting in shape, huh? I know. Our company is hiring security staff. Are you interested in helping us? Hmm. That would give me a chance to get in shape. It would be moonlighting, though, and I can't do that. You're right. Then I won't pay you. How about if I buy you meals instead? Hmm. I wonder if that's okay. I'm pretty sure that's well outside the rules, too. 
Oh, what the hell? I owe you big time, Kiryu-san. Please let me help you. Great. Thanks for your help. Yes, I'll get stronger and become a great police officer just like my old partner. Oh. Have a toast, meat. Oh, that's so nice. I love it. Emoji battle. All right. Let me get my money. Give unto click. Render unto me your money. Okay. Not really been a problem with too many money battles, which is good. Alright, you need to get out of there. Staff. Staff here is fine. Staff here is fine. Staff is fine. So I guess I'll put the... Oh, nice toast for everyone. Do you ever say that out loud while using the ATMs? Um, give me my money. Um, I'm like, I, I assume you're saying give me my money. I, uh, I don't, but I do sometimes say that, uh, when it's time to get my paycheck. Like, give me my money. Haven't I done enough? And by my estimation, I certainly have. Oh, so close. Oh, render unto me my money. <laughs> I, I have never done that. I mean, honestly, what I'm kind of, like, riffing on there is there's a part of, um, Judgment, which we're still playing. There's a sub-story where you dress up the main character like a vampire, and then he s sits in for, um, a... Okay, so we're good. Like, an actor whose catchphrase is render unto me your pulsing blood. Um, which I just really thought was pretty funny. Render unto me. And then you get a vampire costume, which whenever you are... Like, oh man, judgment. It does take a while to get going. Like, even for a Yakuza game, that game has, like, a wildly slow burn. But, I'm, like, more into it now. Like I said that before, I'm not, like, angry at Yagami anymore for not being Kiryu, which is, like, it's not his fault he's not Kiryu, but still, I just like Kiryu better because he's my favorite except for Majima who is also my favorite. They're both my favorite in my heart. Ooh. Amusement game you. This place is crawling with gamers, especially arcane arcade fighting game fans. What should I do? Buy it. Buy it. Oh, the electronics king. I do not have enough for that. This is why it's so grindy, is you can only really get one at a time. Um, let's... Okay, it's barfing. Oh, man. If you've ever lived in a party town, and I have, actually a couple of different party towns, oh. like, seeing someone just vomiting completely into the street is like, I've seen that. It's not great. Yeah. Uh, but it does happen. 
Hey, it's this guy. Give me your money. Render unto me your pulsing money. Oh, what I was going to say, I forgot, was that, like, now anytime Yagami needs, like, a disguise, you can use the vampire disguise. Even if it doesn't make any sense, which it never does, you can still do it. And I love that. It makes me really, it makes me really happy. No, I, I should let him hit me a couple of times. Oh, I think we've got a new PG-13 video we can take a look at. Because I went and talked to uh, the shiny Mr. Libido again. And he said something that indicated that. Oh, I think I also need to go back into the shopping district. Because I think... Alright, who's getting mugged? What's that her? down here. Yep, yep, yep. Please, help me. What are you looking at? You want some of this too? I will take some of the thing. I used to live in an apartment directly atop a bar and having the windows open on warm days was always an interesting anthropological experience. It's true. Bullying the innocent, innocent is lower than low. Lay off. Ha! You think that scares me? I'll teach you to mind your own damn business. Gotcha! Yep. I mean, I used to work in a bar. Like, when I was in college, I worked in a bar for years. <laughs> and that, too, was an interesting experience. It's actually one of the better jobs I ever had. Like, not pay-wise. Definitely not pay-wise. But, like, as a place to work, it was not bad. And the reason why it was, a, like, a good place to work was because... Um, the guy who um, was the boss really was, you know, on the side of the employees uh, when people would, like, be weird and start stuff. And so he kind of always had our backs. Hello there. Welcome to Gandahara. Okay. Let us see if there are new people. Oh, I think she's new. Oh, shoot. There's a bunch of new people, I think. Okay. Are, are you new? Enjoy the video! Hope y'all are ready for some PG horniness. I don't know if we're gonna have... Oh, no, wait. I think we've seen her before. remember so I'm just gonna let it play in case we haven't I'm like I remember her but it might be from my other playthrough man she is really pretty she's got a great bikini More balloons? Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe we haven't seen that one before. Oh. I don't know. I'm like, I kind of remember that girl, but. There was let, let's do one more. No more PG thirteen, I guess. You again. I can't help it. I love her. Let me watch it again, please. Uh oh. Wackiness music. 
Please calm down. Is showing the ashtray and Kiryu saying phew a subtle metaphor for panning to the fireplace? Um I I wouldn't I wouldn't call it subtle. <laughs> What's the problem? Oh, I'm sorry. Welcome, sir. So, what's going on? Yeah. Well, this gentleman keeps asking to watch a video. I want to watch it! I really do! What's wrong with that? Isn't that what this shop is for? Just let him watch it. It's not that simple. He's always watching just this one video. The same video every time? Haha! -ha! Well, the girl in that video is the sweetest creature on the face of this earth. She must be really cute to have you hooked on her video like that. You got me interested. See, this is why it's such a problem. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate customers who come here every day. But if someone's watching the same video day after day, all the time, then us other customers don't get to see it at all. They only have one copy? I guess so. But I like that video. Why can't you just watch something else for a change? There's plenty of other cute girls. Kiryu's like, I know about that, because there's a lot, and I see them all. That'd be cheating, and I'm not, okay. Melancholy man, it's not cheating, just FYI. That'd be cheating, and I'm not a cheat. There's only room for one girl in my heart, and that spot's already taken. <sighs> See what I have to deal with? What am I supposed to do with him? I mean, video clerk guy, I think you're making this into a bigger deal than it needs to be. The girl in the video must be something special. I'd like to see her clip. But I can't if he's going to watch it again. See? Will you please tell him something to make him come to his senses? At first, I thought he was concerned about this guy becoming obsessed. Which would be optimistic slash unrealistic but positive. We can watch it together if you want. Nani? You want to watch a sexy video together? I get to watch the video again and show off the queen of my heart to another guy. Two birds with one stone. Mm. Not sure I feel about this. <sighs> Please, just sort it out between yourselves. See, that's me when I'm doing customer service. Cust anything customer facing. I'm like, my name's Paul and this between y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with me. I would never, I would have just rented it to him again and been like, first come, first serve, bitch. He was here, he asked for it, he gets it. I don't, if he gets in line again and asks for it again, he can have it again. I don't give a shit. It's nothing, nothing to me. Let's watch that video together. Come on, I'll pay. Alright. Uh. Alright. I don't mind. Hee <laughs> hee. You'll fall in love with that girl from the video just like I did. I'll get the tape. You go wait in the booth. Dear Fantastico, wow, this is dot dot dot. Kiryu, dot dot dot. Oh! Mm. Feels a little crowded, doesn't it? Come on, it's cozy. And watching this video next to another warm body, feeling another's breath on your skin, it adds realism to it, if anything. Bro, I was, like, not gonna make a big deal out of this, but, like, you're getting a little weird. Your warm body does nothing for me. Yeah, he's just waiting for Majima. Shh, it's starting. More balloons! Man, whoever... <laughs> I don't even know what to think about that. Um... Whoever got this, these, like, photo shoots together was like, I bought a pack of balloons, and we're using the balloons so I can expense this shit. She is pretty. I like her bikini.
good lip gloss, nice, nice booty, pretty girl. Can't go wrong. I like being bi. I just get to enjoy everybody's good booties. Like, you know, to look at. Man, she's cute. Yeah, she is. Right? Right? That's why I've watched this clip like a thousand times already. Nani? That's a lot. Why did you get so obsessed with this video? Haha, <laughs> 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 that's a silly question. It should be obvious. Should it? It's because I fell in love. You fell in love with a girl from a video. She's an idol or an actress or something, right? That's right. I love her. A girl I can watch but never touch. I know it's hopeless, but I can't help it. Mm. I guess you can't. Like, he could help it because he could, like, do anything else. I guess you can't. You'd understand how I feel if you fell in love with a girl. Love makes reason and logic go out the window. Cutie's like, I got, I love a girl. And a boy. And a boy who's sometimes a girl. Hmm? Man, she was just as gorgeous as ever today. <laughs> yep, I can sort of see why you would be so into her. I think about her every day. She's all I can think about. I love her so much, I can barely eat. It's crushing me. But you're pining over a woman you're never, and may never, parentheses me, probably never will. Probably will never. Never meet. Why not go meet a girl you can actually speak to? That's what's making things worse for me. According to her official profile, she lives in Camarocho. That means there's a chance, right? Excuse me. No! 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 No, it does not mean that there is a chance. Come the fuck on, dude. One of the worst things that ever happened to me when I was um, drawing comics was uh, I was scheduled to do a comic, like an appear at, appearance at a con. And I was also doing online dating at that point because I was single. And um, a guy on OkCupid <laughs> clipped my con appearance, like photo and details out and sent it to me on OkCupid with the subject line just said, this is you, period. And I deleted my account and it stayed deleted for a while because that freaked me out so bad. I just don't even, I mean, I, it was so upsetting. I like almost didn't do the appearance. It, and I like actually, you know, I was doing it with someone else and like, um, we actually had someone like come sit with us at the table for a while just because I was so like, <laughs> what the fuck, man? You just be like, I know where you're gonna be. And like, I mean, how? <sighs> There's no way that, like, that person didn't know how, like, creepy that was. I don't know. Huh. You think so? Kiryu, no. Tell him no. I don't know any other way to read it than... I. It should be upsetting. I don't know any other way to read that and then in a threatening way. I mean, I took it as threatening. 
like when I would tell people around me about it, they were like, oh, maybe he's just like a fan or maybe he wants to like blah 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 and like so you know how people do and they try to be like oh you shouldn't worry about it and I was just like I don't know man this seems bad I want to see her even if it's just once I think it will free me from this torment no it won't I know can you please help me if you see the girl in the video can you tell me please what why me why can't you go look for her yourself I've been looking for her my whole life, man. But with two pairs of eyes out there, I'll double my chances. That's true, but please, we're like soul brothers. We were both turned on by her video. Oh no. No, I'm just going forward. Don't make this creepy. It's, sweetie, we, we stepped over that line a, a bit ago. Yeah, it's true. I I mean, like, if he was a fan, he would have said, I'm your biggest fan. Like, well, number one, we didn't have fans like that. Like, I mean, we, like, had a few, but not, like, people, like, not to where you could just expect, like, random people. That's not how it works. Like, that's not how being a creator works. It never has been. They're gonna make you help this guy as a mission, aren't they? I think so, yeah. Please, you know what she looks like, and you seem to know your way around Kimurocho. If you were to turn me down, I'd, I wouldn't know who to turn to. He's tormented by his love for an unattainable girl. That is a way to put that. I suppose I can at least tell him if I ever see her. Okay. I just, no, you should not, because that's creepy. Okay, all right, I'll help you. Really? You will? Oh, thank you so much. Just in case it helps, her profile says she loves Korean barbecue and she likes to go bowling into the batting center too. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Hi. I'll just watch her video again and look for clues. Thank you for helping. Ugh. Yeah, that's not cool. All right, let's go get the payout, I guess. Where are we at? It, you know what, I'm just gonna go get a cab because that will be faster. I think, like, you know... Oh no, you're never gonna sit down right again, buddy, because your tailbone is broke. Hello, it's me. <coughs> I've come to get money. Render unto me your pulsing money because... Oh no, it's a money battle! Oh 
しのぎきったな I was like wondering when the electronics king was gonna show up まあこんなところかまあこんなところか I'm just an average guy, but I'll do my best. I got mugged the last time I was in Mongolia. I'm good at arguing. Nice to know. Okay, everything. Okay, cool. So we just gotta start. This is a little grindy, this cart. But. I'm just like, I just wanna get as much of the, like, Grindy money stuff, like get it done, and then have access to money, because then I'll really be able to start like just ranking Kiryu out on things. Also, like it unlocks parts of the um, battle system or the abilities like tree. So that's helpful. Been game you nice. Okay. Do re mi fa Nice, that one's done. Okay, I think that's everything. Staff. Alright, you gotta come off. So who's gonna be the staff? <laughs> okay. Come out. Put him in. The like one star guys are kind of wieners, so uh, he's fine there. Okay. So just do the sober place. Rank up. Okay. Alright, cool. Everybody looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Everybody's got an assignment. Alright. Hi. Yes. Yes. What? The arcade? Yes. What's the matter? Who is it? Yeah. I don't know. I asked, but he didn't answer. He just said, tell Kiryu to come to the arcade on Nakamichi Street. Mm. What for? Mm. That area is the Electronic King's territory, so it could be one of his men. And he said something like, he understands the consequences if he doesn't come, right? S what do we do? I'm so worried. Calm down. I won't let anything happen to you. I'll protect you, no matter what. <laughs> wow. Heart. I mean, like, that also would be me. The Electronics King wants to see me. I should go to the arcade on Nakamichi Street and beat him at his own game. I mean, this involves playing him at OutRun, so I do not believe I'm going to beat him at his own game. Um, I believe he is going to beat me at his own game. But, alright, one sec. I am c still coughing a little bit. I got a little bit of a cold, so I'm just going to take a little bit more cold medicine so I'm not coughing right into the microphone. Do, 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 do. Okay. So... 
hopefully, all right, so here's my plan. Hopefully, when we get there, the only thing that's going to populate is the Electronics King mission. And I won't have to worry about, excuse me, the, um, the girl who works at the Sega Arcade, who you have to become friends with. I think I've got the next thing in her sub story involves that like weird blocked scene. So I'm just going to go over there and hopefully it'll play out the way that I want it to. If it doesn't, I'll just verbally narrate it, I guess, because like I don't know what else to do. So it's just Outrun. Probably we all know what Outrun looks like, so I'm not that worried about it. No, it looks like it did it right. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Sometimes if you got multiple sub stories in an area, you're not like able to control which one like pops first. But hmm? Yeah! Thanks for dropping by, Kiryu san. Who the hell are you? You work for the Electronics King? <laughs> hey, you're smarter than I thought. Guess that's why you're on an up and coming why you're an up and coming businessman. He's a businessman. I don't have time to waste on cannon fodder like you. The Electronics King is inside, right? Let me through. Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa. Not so fast, newbie. Let me guess. If I want to go in, I need to get through you guys first. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. You sure are smart. Bet you think you're hot stuff since you took down the Leisure King, huh? Well... We're gonna hack and slash your ass. Whatever, buddy. Some lackeys about to get smacky. Ha ha! <laughs> I'm way too pleased with that. It is not even worth all that. But I'm like, whatever. I liked it. I got a bite. Oh, it's bite time. Oh, for real? No. Oh! Oh, got him! Oh, come on, dude. Got him. Now you will be got. Get him, Mickey, for the leg. <laughs> and stompy. Yes! Dude, you're way overpowered. I know, bro. All right, coming through. Sega High Tech Land. Sega. There he is. Are you the Electronics King? Dot, dot, dot. Boy. Hey, are you listening to me? <sighs> Didn't anyone teach you manners? Like, don't bother someone when they're playing a game? Uh? Don't give me that. You're the one who called me here in the first place. What do you want? No need to get snippy. I only asked you to come because I wanted to thank you. Thank me. Yes, I would like to thank you for trying to capture my domain. The real world is full of poor, foolish souls. So capturing this area of Camarocho was easy mode. But because of that, I've been pretty bored lately. But now that you're here, my life is fun again. So thanks. Hey, 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 hey. Ha. Never expected to be thanked. I'm taking over your area, you know. Aren't you angry? Can't say that I am, actually. This is just a game for me. I do it for fun. Besides, I'll end up on top at the end. I wouldn't be so sure about that. <laughs> ha ha! Why wouldn't I be sure? You've heard, right? I'm a genius... Ah, uh, IQ again. And I'm Camarocho's best gamer! Neat. They're 
there's no way you'd beat me in a video game. You might think that this is some kind of game, but it's not. Thanks to you turning Camarocho into some kind of playground for you to make money, there are a lot of real people who've been hurt. Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> now why would I do that? Have you ever thought about the feelings of the pixels you murder in a video game? <laughs> of course you haven't. Hmm. You're rotten to the core, too. Now, now. At any rate, I'm looking forward to playing with you. Can you at least put up a good fight so I can have something to enjoy? Don't worry. I'll make sure to keep you on your toes. Oh, hang on a second. You came all the way over here. So you, do you want to play a quick round with me? Nani. What? I heard that you had the karaoke battle with the Leisure King. Why not battle with me? A video game battle, of course. A video game battle? Yes. Why don't we play Outrun? I'm not too good at racing games, so that should put us on a level playing field. If you can get a higher score than me, you win. If not, you lose. What do you think? Does that sound balanced? Are we going to put part of our holdings on the line like I did with the Leisure King? <laughs> huh, of course. The game's no fun unless something's at stake. Well, at least it's not his arm. Or all of his blood. You'll accept my challenge, right? Well, it's not like you're gonna take no for an answer. Sure, let's do it. Ha, <laughs> huh, that's the spirit. All right, I'll start. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat this guy's score. Woo, only five million points, huh? I made too many mistakes. I guess they really do suck at racing games. Okay, you're up next. I'll even let you win if you can match my score. Fine. Whatever. Oh god, it's blocked. Shit, I'm really sorry, y'all. I don't understand why this is blocked. Okay, fine. Um, I'm just gonna do it because it needs doing. I'm, um, so I'm racing and I did not remember that this was also gonna be blocked. I thought it was just the part with the girl, but apparently it's not. Um, why would this part, I just don't understand why this needs to be blocked. Like, it's outrun, y'all. It's outrun. Like, why is outrun blocked? I don't know. I got like a whole minute to like vamp here while I'm playing Outrun and crashing. Ooh, you know, I never noticed before that there's like surfer people like windsurfing on the um other side, but like it looks like there are. So, um, it's me in a car and it's like doodly doo do 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 do, and I'm driving and I put it in high gear and I'm like going around the corners. Oh god, there's another corner. Maybe. Oh god, I almost crashed and now I did crash and I crashed into a sign and now I gotta start again. And I'm definitely not going to beat 5 million points. Like, that. come on. I don't even think I'm going to make the, like, uh, checkpoint. Because, like, I don't really want to extend the amount of time that it's in a blocked scene. This is ridiculous. So, I'm just going to, like, not... I mean, I'm going to say I didn't try. But even if I had tried, like, I mean... Ah, uh, God. Yeah, okay. No! I got the checkpoint, but Why? I was I I was trying to not get it because I just blocked. Oh God, I've made mistakes. So many. Now I'm in a part where it's like all columns, and we're going through a field. Like where the hell is this even supposed to be? That's what I would like to know. Oh my God, more columns. It's very tense. And then the car, and I almost crashed, and there's more columns, and I almost crashed again. Like, can I f make myself be bad at OutRun? Like, I'm always bad at OutRun, and now I feel like I just have to keep talking and keep talking, because there's, like, nothing to look at. Because, Sega, why did you do this? Why did you do this to me? And I crashed again. Uh, I didn't want this to happen. I, I, sh I thought to myself today, I was like, oh, yep. Allie, you should put the capture card on, because what if you end up in some 
Ding Dong blocked Outrun scene again, and I was like, that won't happen unless you try to, like, trigger the thing with the lady, but you're not gonna do that, and, like, yeah, I'm done. Okay, good. Yes, I would like to exit the game. Yes, I would like to quit. Oh my god. Ugh. Why would you do that? Why is that blocked? See, I thought I had it all under control, and I just didn't remember correctly. Hi, Miss Drabel, how are you doing? Damn it, I lost. Haha, <laughs> -ha, too bad. But you know, I still have to give you credit for being brave enough to challenge me. Now, as promised, I'll take a share of your properties. That's fine, I'll just take it back. Whatever. That's why you don't drive. It's because your recording scene was blocked. That's why I don't want to drive either. Well, that was a lot of fun. Games are a lot more exciting when you have a high-level challenger to play against. Ha-ha! Okay, we're done here. I don't have a lot of free time to hang out with you. See you later. Oh, wait. Just one more thing. What is it? You're probably gonna die, you know. Yeah? And who's gonna kill me? Who knows? Let's just say that not everyone welcomes your efforts like I do. I'm glad you're trying hard, but you really shouldn't take the five billionaires too lightly. That's just fine by me. Oh, you just got back from your second COVID um, vaccine dose? Excellent! That's awesome! I am scheduled to do that um, next week. And I'm, like, I am ready. I'm ready for it. Um, I felt a little wibbly after my after my first dose, but you know, then I started to feel a lot like better. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm just excited to be like fully vaccinated. The electronics king. This is all just a game to him, but he's still a tough customer, so I should watch out. Well, that happened. <laughs> All right, so we're still collecting the payout in the Gambling King area. Um, I have money, so... Like, what am I missing? Um, Beijing Chinese Eatery, the Na Nakamichi Seija, which I can't get in... It's... We're gonna need yearly boosters? I don't even... I... I cannot. I do not want to deal with that. I'm just like, ugh. Don't want to think about it. Don't want to deal with it. Uh, no, I've already been all the way down there. And this is too far, I think. Oh, hey, are we gonna fight? Delinquent. I mean, I think... I don't know. I can't even imagine... Like, I, I honestly didn't even know that, like, it was supposed to be, like, worse if you've already had it. Because I just, like literally can't. I stopped listening to the news. I stopped looking up stuff. I just cannot like... I know I probably need to start paying attention again but like... I just can't. You want to be done and start processing your panini panics. Like if you try to go out for a panini and like... I'm like, how am I ever gonna, like, roam around outside with other people now? I don't even know. Oh, that's something. Maybe I'll grab a bite of Fuji Soba. Um, oh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. Chilled Kitsune Soba. Freshly cooked soba noodles topped with chilled sauce and house-made fried tofu cut into easy-to-eat pieces. Thank you for waiting. They already took the, like, social distancing stickers, like, off the floor at the drugstore. Like, literally the only place I ever go is the drugstore. 
And, like, I'm just like, don't you think it's a little soon for that? But, whatever. Beijing Chinese Eatery. They're famous for their extra crispy chow mein. What should I do? Buy it. Now, now who's got the electronics? Now who's got the area? Me. Shok, uh, Shokichi camera? This place sells all kinds of home electronics. What should I do? Yes! Two at one time? Amazed. Okay. Cool. Now the payout should be done. So much stuff is opening up here and I'm like, uh, are you sure? I, I'm very glad that my job has decided to go full work from home because, like, number one, you don't need it. Like, we can do all this stuff online, so there's no need for it. But, like, also, number two, I'm just like, I don't want you guys to be the ones who are in charge of when I have to go outside again and, like, be really mingling with people because, like, not for nothing, but I don't trust you guys. And uh, that's because you are not trustworthy. Like, I want to decide that with Josh for ourselves, and, you know. I know not everybody has that, like, ability, but, like, I, that, is, that is how I want that to work. Because, like, I just don't... People just aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, and, like, never did do. Just never did it right. Never did what they were supposed to. Never did it. Didn't never pay attention to what they were supposed to be doing. It's just. <sighs> <coughs> and like, I'm like, y'all know they can't like vaccinate kids yet, right? Like, I'm sure they're, you know, I know they're working on it, and I'm sure that's not gonna be forever, but like. People are sort of acting like it's all cool and everything's gonna be fine now. And I'm just like, it's a lot of people. Like, kids are people. And that's a lot of people who can't get a vaccine at all. So, um, I don't. I don't know. Everyone who does have the opportunity to stay home and definitely should, just to protect the people who can't. Yeah, I mean, I just... I don't know what it's gonna look like when, like, we would even think that it would be, like, fine to go back out and do things, like... But I know it doesn't look like this. You know? Like, I don't know what it's gonna take, but I know this is not it. Like, it needs to be more people, more people vaccinated. It needs to be, like, not as much of it in the community. Like, I'm not really sure what it's going to take exactly to feel like it's a good idea. But, like, I know we're not there yet for sure. Okay. Staff is good. About the only thing that I'm like willing to do is like, um, that's different than what we have been doing is like, um, I want to get to the beach this summer. It seems like such a pipe dream. I, I miss the beach. Like, I miss it like pain. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. But I, the only thing I'm really willing to ease up on is, like, I have some friends that I, like, I know for sure are getting vaccinated because they're, they, you know, we all kind of made appointments around the same time and we're kind of doing it on the same days. Um, 
And so, like, I would be willing to have, um, like, my best friend, you know, and her partner who has also been vaccinated over to my house to hang out with just me and Josh. Like, I would be willing to set up a pod system just with her because, like, I know she wouldn't say she was vaccinated if she wasn't. I know she wouldn't lie to me. Um, so. And that's kind of it. Like, the rest of it, like, I think, you know, it's just gonna be like... <sighs> it's just gonna... It, you have to wait and see. Okay, so the last one for this guy is the Sega. Which involves block more block scenes so I either have to go play a blocked scene with the girl or not you know what I already fucked it up by having a blocked scene I wasn't planned for so I might as well just do it twice because like wha whatever <laughs> I guess this is not what I will be doing for the end game stuff. We will obviously be playing that live and like we'll be using the capture card and it'll be fine. But I'm just like, well, it already happened once, so twice shouldn't be a big deal. You had to have a bunch of dental work done last year. Oh god. That sucks. Oh Kiryu san. What's up? I finally got a new high score that should be a challenge to beat. Nice work. What score did you get? <laughs> Get this, I got a total of 1,500,000 points. Wow, that's a pretty good score. You weren't lying about being good at these games. Uh -huh. Hey, you didn't believe me? <laughs> huh, sorry. Huh, anyway, while you're here, how about a challenge? Challenge? Hey. If you beat my high score the next time you play, I'll give you a present. Sounds interesting. Great! Are you ready for the challenge? <coughs> it's also possible that the blocked scene that I remembered as being blocked was the Electronics King and not this girl's. Like, maybe they're not both blocked? I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Do I want to try this now? Yeah, why not? I'll just do it. Like, quirk it off the list, get it out of the way. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I knew you couldn't resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my score then. All right, Luca, is the gift a puppy? I think I don't think it is. Ouch! Run! No, it's blocked again! God damn it! Why? Why is it like this? Ding, dang, dang it. And I gotta beat her score. This blows. Alright, alright. So I'm going past the the people on the sides. And there's another lane. And it's all like trees and whatnot. And like, uh, I'm going real fast. Oh god. Um, and Oh no, oh no, there's cars. Oh no, oh, oh. Jesus, Jesus. Ah. Uh, um, I'm gonna beat her score. So that I can go on to the next part of the thing. This was a bad idea. Why do I have bad ideas? They're so bad. And I just do them. And I don't stop to consider how weird or embarrassing it's going to be. And I just do the thing. And, um... Okay, so there's signs to whack into. But I, then I didn't. And I haven't, like, crashed yet. So I'm doing alright. Um... And I have, like, about... Uh, about, uh, about half the... Uh, Oh god, crashing! We're gonna- Oh god, I almost crashed. There's little houses going by, and then there's the people. Oh my lord. Oh, oh, oh! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, okay, I did beat her score. Ha ha ha! Take that! Take that, Sega Nakamichi Street girl, whose name is Luca. Oh no, cars. Oh god! Oh no! 
I hit the checkpoint. Okay, so now I got another 60 seconds, and I just got to vamp as hard as I can. Vamp, vamp, vamp. Okay, so we got the... I went the column side this time. I don't know why I did that. I don't know this side as well um, as the uh, mountain side, and it's, like, very... Di um, oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! There's... It's just everywhere. Oh, God! And I crashed! And the car flipped... I'm like, I used to play this all the time in the arcade, and I would just, like, constantly flip the car. I was not good at it, but I always liked car games that had, like, wheels and stuff. And, like, um, okay, so we're through the things, and, um, why is this blocked, Sega? Help me. Help me help you. I don't understand why you did this. It makes no sense. None of this makes any sense. Like, why would you do this? Like, the dancing isn't blocked like all none of these things are blocked in other games this is the only one where they've done this because the okay all right cool exit the game thank you extremely heavy car foreshadowing oh god let me out of this oh god please Please put my video back on the screen. I made poor decisions. I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> Didn't I? I thought I had. Uh. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not doing that again. I'm just going to capture card this shit on Monday. Because that is straight ass ridiculous. And it's like there's nothing for you to see. And so I feel like I have to just talk nonstop. Which is not like that difficult for me. But it's still a lot. So I'm just going to go to the Pleasure King area. And I'm just going to buy some Pleasure King properties. That's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to worry about this. Like finishing this part off later. Ooh. Bending. It's a dream machine. Insert. Uh, ten grand to make your dreams come true. Maybe. What do we got? What do we got? Uh, Torianer. Ooh, here's a property. Cabaret Valentine. This cabaret is pretty famous around this area. What should I do? I will buy it. Is I don't have enough money! How much money was it? Oh, shit. Well, dang! Cabaret Valentine, you girl, you expensive. Whoa. Why are you so expensive? Camero World Theater. Wow, all the movie titles sound kind of sketchy. What should I do? No, I don't have enough money. No. Oh. Well. I know! Oh, it's the guy! Alright, I gotta beat this guy up. Can I get this? Hit this bicycle? Hey, guy! <laughs> hey, just swinging the bike around. Oh, boy. Like, I'm not making a real good case for myself by showing people, like, nothing on a screen for minutes on end. Sega! Oh, what's this? No Panties Barbecue... <laughs> no Panties Barbecue Paradise. The word is they serve a pretty mean Korean barbecue. What should I do? Man, no, everything's too expensive. Alright, I can keep getting um, money by just, like, pumping up some other areas for a bit. So that's what I'm going to do. I guess... No, I can't do that either. I don't have enough. Oh, no, I don't... No, I don't want it. I can't... Hey, Bob! It's Bob, y'all! 
He's a clown. Uh, it's like, can I buy anything around here? Did I get hit? No. I should let that guy hit me some. Uh, I can't afford to buy no panties barbecue, so I guess I have to go back. Is no panties barbecue a Hooters reference? No, it's probably just a thing. There's definitely a, a restaurant later that it seems like might be a Hooters reference or like a take on Hooters. But I think it's also just like a, a real business that decided to do a version of Hooters. Come on, guy. Oh, are you? No, I get you. It took me a little while to realize that um, most of the stuff that's being referenced is um, like real stores and it's like product placement. That's one of the ways that this is like kind of um, like a little cheaper for them, it, you know, or I probably one of the pitches they made when they were first pitching it was like, if we use real stores, we can get product placement and that'll help us like offset some of the cost of making the game um which is uh, my assumption is, is that's one of the things that they did so i mean it's certainly what i would do in that situation so i mean there's definitely some stuff in a few of the later games where you're just like uh so uh so it's just a watch commercial now? Uh. What am I gonna do? I don't want anything to do with the criminal underworld. But I finally got a promotion to manage this place all on my own. Oh, oh! excuse me, sir. Are you talking to me? Yes. I'm sorry to spring this on you, but are you for hire? I need someone discreet. Let me show you to my place. <sighs> sorry, but I'm not interested in any hanky-panky with you. Huh? What? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. I swear, I need protection. You can provide it, no? Uh? Protection or not, I'm not doing it with you. Wait, what? Oh, I get it. Um, I'm sorry, but I'm not with the Yakuza. Huh? You're not? I'm very sorry, I had the wrong idea. You have this intimidating aura, see? So I just assumed. Anyway, why do you need protection? I'm the manager of this restaurant. We're about to add another line of business on the side, and I thought I'd better arrange protection with the local, um, boss? It's better than the copaganda in the Spider-Man games. I want to enjoy the first win so much, but I can't team up with the NYPD. That's fair. Usually businesses negotiate that with one of the local families. There's no one boss for Kimurocho who'd protect you. And with all the land getting bought up in this area, almost all the tenants are gone. No Yakuza family will want to offer you protection. Uh, oh, I'm in bigger trouble than I realized. I know. You seem to know a lot about these things, though. Would you mind giving me some advice? I can't really discuss it in public. Could we step inside the restaurant? Okay. All right, fine. Thank you so much. Please, come this way. Yeah, I don't really dig cops. Like, at all. This is the Dragon and Tiger's Kamurocho branch, and the owner runs the original restaurant in Sotenbori, Osaka. Sotenbori, huh? The owner there has devoted most of his time and energy in a secondary line of business, and now he's instructing me to follow suit. What's the business? Uh. I trust you can keep a secret. He deals in weapons and other gear of that sort. Mm. Guns. Is that it? That's a dangerous trade. Yeah. He's a weapons enthusiast. Dealing in weapons and other combat gear from all around the world has been a dream of his. I said enthusiast, but his wife would call him a maniac. He has a network of agents that sends him weapons and parts, and he makes his own versions as well. 
That's a man who's serious about his hobbies. His wife must be quite a character to put up with all that. And it seems he met an interesting customer recently, and the encounter breathed new life into his secret trade. I know who it is! It's Marjama! He's now single-mindedly pursuing a new goal, which is to provide that unusual customer with the finest equipment he can find or make. And that is why he's now telling me to sell weapons and gear here as well, to get feedback from Camarocho buyers on usability. Mm. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah. I trained to become a chef at his restaurant in Saltonbury, so I was aware of his side business, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable selling weapons myself. I knew a cop who was very nice to me personally, and he was still a racist prick. All cops are bad. Yeah, I don't... I don't fuck with cops. Like... I am honestly... I was not really raised to... Like, I don't know. Some, I believe something must have happened with my father. Uh, I don't know what his deal is now, because he's like a real Fox News Republican guy. But, like, back before Fox News was a thing, when I was a teenager, he was just like... Let me tell you some stuff about cops. Don't ever talk to them. <laughs> ever. <sighs> secret weapons! Yeah, it's secret weapons. Yeah, like, uh, that's, that's what you know about cops. Don't talk to cops. There you go. Uh, I trained to become a chef. Uh, okay, so I'm selling weapons myself. He taught me everything I know. So I'd do anything for him, but this... I'm afraid of the police valid and even more afraid of the yakuza coming after me additionally valid is it just weapons and gear any other illegal stuff no nothing else but we would also repair worn down or broken weapons too also when the sottenbury branch gets something new the owner will make replicas so we could offer it here in camarocho too uh. he must have some real skills a staff or something sure but guns too yeah. it's what he spends almost all his time on after all but despite his skills, the sales are meager because he's terribly picky about new customers. Well, you should be if what you're doing is illegal. You should follow his example, example here. One blabbermouth and you'll be in big trouble. You're right. Oh, no. In that case, would you be our first customer? Nani. Are you serious? Dead serious. You seem tight-lipped and having a regular customer like you would come in handy in case we do run into trouble with the Yakuza. How much fancy being their go-to guy for Yakuza problems, but I might need that sort of equipment, and it's not like there's any other shops like this. Uh. Fine. It's a deal. I'll come by when I need something. My name's Kiryu. <laughs> it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Kiryu-san. The owner will be delighted when I tell him the news. Yes! You got any... Got any telephone cards up in here? No? You don't say all right, I got some stuff I could repair. How about that fish cannon? Fix it all. There we go. All right, what else do you got? Let's buy stuff. Item lineup expanded. All right. Butterfly knife. Ooh, super spicy knife. Give me two of those. Metal bat, spike bat. Um, iron hammer. Ooh. I'm getting one. Nothing. Bye. Arigatouzaimashita. Hey, Sparkly. So looking for telephone cards. Uh, I'm not seeing anymore though. Alright, well that 
that was good. Okay, fine. I will not try to go back to the empty lot. I like the flickering fluorescent light that's like good atmosphere. Cool. Very 80s. That like one fluorescent light that won't stop going like ding 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 or bzz, 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 bzz. very irritating. Payouts are ready. Excuse me. Suits place. That guy scooch through here. Probably have to fight somebody. Maybe not. Just scoochy scooching. Uh oh. Nope, here we go. Delinquents. <laughs> Got him. Oh, punchity punch. Kaboom. Alright. Smile Burger side. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh, man. Okay, so now we're going back to here and pick up my money, and I guess I will purchase. Pleasure King Properties is, I guess, the next place where we're going. Okay. Yep. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's a money battle. Get him, Sachiko. Uh, yes. Welcome to Smile Burger, home of the Smile Burger. Smiles are free. Oh shit, I forgot to put a manager here. Whoops. Well, good thing there wasn't a problem. Like, bro, I thought I assigned you here, but I guess I didn't. Um, you cannot be the guy for that right now. Mafia boss, I suppose. Uh, okay, she's down a star, but I think that's okay. You need to come off and we'll put in this guy. Okay, everything looks good. Because, like, I might not actually need to get that story, uh, the outrun sub-story in order to rank up to the point where I can fight the Electronics King, so not 100% on that, but I don't remember. We'll figure it out. Because just improving your properties also, like, improves your control over the area. There we go. But I think you might need to. Mama San! Chinese eatery. Very good. Okay. Amusement game you. The guy from the Yankees storyline. Come down. Do right. Oh, I can't invest anymore. Can't invest anymore. All right, that one looks good. I already did all the staff. Oops, so I guess gotta invest in this thing. Okay. Render unto me money. Okay, I get that. All right, there we go. Good to go. Let's change the decor. Upgrade interior. What should we upgrade it to? Terrace green, please. 
Understood. Ooh, I like that. Oh, look at the look at the letters. Look at that. Just just letters on a curtain. Pretty good. So now I should be able to buy No Panties Barbecue, or whatever I want. Oh, there he is. Mr. Uh... Whoa. Wow. Buddy. That is some amazing snoring, I have to be honest. Wow. Okay, let's go over to the Pleasure King's area and we'll try to get some whatever stuff we can. Okay. No panties barbecue paradise. The word is they serve a pretty mean Korean barbecue. What should I do? Let's get it. No panties barbecue acquired. All right. Now, I guess, uh, where am I at? Well, I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm pretty close to the telephone clubs. So maybe I'll do that. Alright, I guess I'll fight these weirdos. So are the workers or the patrons sans, pan sans panties? I mean, my assumption was that it was the uh, workers who were, who were um, not having um, underpants, but uh, I, I guess I can't say for sure. <laughs> I hope it's only the, like, front of house staff, because, like, you really want your, uh, back of the house, like, people making the barbecue to have, uh, full clothing on, or else it just feels like that's a safety hazard. Alright, hit me with some telephone club. Welcome to the Telltale Boys Club. Care to brighten up your day by chatting with fun young ladies? I will. I will always take the long one because I'm not very good at this. All right. He's. It's. I love him picking up the phone. It is so extra. Let's do this. Madaka. Entertaining myself. Mush mush. Mush mush. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh no! This. Oh no! Not do you worry. Come on! Don't hide from me! I I know! It's just behind Dewey Walk. No. No! Oh, God! No, it's terrible! No! Oh, God, I missed it! No! Oh god. Yeah, that didn't What's your body type? Not lean and molecular, please. No, not lean and minuscule. No. No, mean and mac mollusks? 
Oh, thank God. I'm lean and muscular. You just might be my type. I wonder how old she is. You some old bag. Oh my God. You sound young. Oh no. That's terrible. Think, think, think. Aha! Describe your body! Oh, good. This stuff. <laughs> Lean and molecular. I mean, the, an the wrong answers are very funny. Oh, my bra's getting tighter. What should what was she would she want to hear? You're gassy, you're clammy, you're crumbly, or you're classy. You seem like a classy girl. You're gassy. Oh, really? What should I call you? Supreme leader, Stuart, sweetheart, or Ironheart? Oh God, sweetheart's getting away from me. Come on! No, don't hide behind Supreme Leader. No, come back. No, it's hiding behind Stuart in Ironheart. Tr Supreme Leader is just trolling me. Oh God! No. Rotary ass dial, rotary dial ass phone. No, get out of the way, Ironheart. Stewart's coming back in for the fucking win. Cream leader pulsing like a weirdo. No! 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 I missed! Oh, thank God! Call me sweetheart. Ironheart, Ironheart is a Marvel comic? I didn't know that. How does she make you feel? Revolted, raunchy, relaxed, or resentful? Relaxed is the correct answer. Yes, I did. You make me feel relaxed and happy. Oh, I'll get you nice and relaxed. Womp, womp, womp. All right. Think, think, think. What's your face like? <laughs> um, yep. That's her butt. Oh, yeah, I remember that now. You trying to get to know me, huh? Let's say something nice. Bet you like poplars. You're not popular. I'm quite popular. Bet you're popular. Do you like poplars? I must know! No, god damn it. Oh, you're not popular? Jesus. No, the aiming on this is bad. No. No. Move out of the way. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It was so close. It ran out of time. I can't hit the wrong thing. I'm running out of time. <laughs> Alright. Oh, thank God. Okay. Keep talking. Um... Keep that's to keep taking. Oh god damn it. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of time. Oh no, oh no. I know, I know it's that one. I know. Thank you. I want to keep talking to you. Alright. I got her. Think, 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 think. Can we meet? It's very important to get her opinion on local ecology. 
Oh man, I want to meet you too. I'll go. I'll go wherever you want me to. Oh no. <laughs> wow. This is what the heterosexuality, everybody. Here it is. Love! That's what happens, right? We can meet in front of the theater. Okay. You better come soon, though. Or I might take off. Uh. I'll be there soon. I'm kidding you, by the way. God. Hodge is stalking sparkles like a real... Not nice dude. Come on, dude. You gotta be nicer than that. It's not cool. He is out and about, and hopefully he will behave himself so I don't have to take him upstairs, because Josh just went for a walk. I'll go wherever you want, ma'am. That's a good way to get murdered. Yeah. Don't be rude, dude. I'll be there soon. I'm cute to you, by the way. That's a cool name. I'm Sayuri, but you can call me Sayu. What will you be wearing? A hot red outfit. Hope you find me. Uh. A red outfit. Got it. A hot. Hot red outfit action. Coma Stadium. Sayuri might be here already. A red outfit, she said. Is that her? Yeah. Hold on. Is that woman really Sayuri? She sounded a lot younger over the phone. <laughs> huh. Who am I kidding? That's not her. There's a woman that had... There's no way a woman that old had that voice. Okay. Huh? Mm. Hold on a second. Maybe it's Say Sayuri's mom. That could be it. She might be Sayuri's mom. Um, okay, sweetie, sure. I said I'd meet her. Better introduce myself. From up close, she's even older. Okay, guy. Are you Kiryu-san? <sighs> oh no. Yeah, they're gonna do that thing again. Yes, yes I am. Might I ask, might, may I ask if you are Sayuri's mother? Oh, Kiryu-san. I love your sense of humor already. It's me, Sayuri. I told you to call me Sayu-chan, remember? Ah, I see. What's wrong? Why did you suddenly get all stiff and formal with me? Yeah. I was taught to respect my elders, ma'am. Oh, don't be silly. I'm no older than, say, an older sister to you. We're not that far apart. <laughs> sister, you can be my mother, lady. Shall we then? Excuse me? Where are we going? That's a weird way to categorize it, lady. It's true. Somewhere nice. A nice place? Oh man, there was literal growling and half my health is gone. Care you just... <sighs> okay. Au revoir, my telephone boy toy. Go on a date with me, person I just compared to a family member. Yeah, it's weird. Dot, dot, dot. Buddy, are you gonna be a nice boy? <laughs> this never happened. This never happened. Well, I got a completion for finishing the sub-story. You're just gonna... Alright, well, he's decided to go over there and just... Uh, 
wolf up, I guess, the uh, treats that. Who's in a hurry? What's that? Let's motor to the nearest hotel. Where is this happening? Oh, it's probably down the alley. Well, of all the subplots that are in a video game, that certainly was one. Yeah, that's a good... Yep, it, it sure was. I don't think it's great, and I wouldn't want to see the behavior replicated, um, and I think we probably should be, like, trying to move people away from behaving in this way, but I will say, uh, my experience, because he's supposed to be 20, my experience with guys who are 20, or in their early 20s, is that when, like, a girl expresses sexual interest in them and they are not interested back that like they do not know how to deal with that and sometimes can be like rawr, rawr, or like whatever and uh just need to chill and just be like uh no thank you um you don't have to be mean about it um you can you can just say no thank you but i think it takes some people a while to learn that. If they ever do. Going the wrong way. I don't have enough money anymore. Because, like, I've certainly had instances where I've been like, oh, that's very sweet, but, um, no thank you. And as long as the person's chill, then it's fine. 20 year old dudes are mean. They are. I mean, it's true. Uh, 20 year old like people are mean it's just it's not a good age the hell i hope you don't plan on getting the way of our fun beat it i will beat i will not beat it oh there's gonna be a beating all right get him boys i don't think so i'm gonna finish cafe out Kill you with stone. Bang! There we go. Got him! Sorry, sir. I won't bother you again. I bet you don't. Woo! Thanks. Here, this is for your help. Got slightly battered. Find it. Okay. Now I got an. I'm seriously going the wrong way again. Oh, oh. oh, sorry, guy. No, I did it again. All right, you know what? Let me just go where I know where I'm going. Oh, man. So it's time for some more business business. Time to do my business. My business. Um, man, it's so garbagey. It looks like Philly. I mean, I think that's one of the things I really loved about this game to start with is that, like, the ambient noise of it. It sounds like walking around the city, like almost like you could be like outside, you know? Because like I live in a big city and and <laughs> I miss it. You know. I don't miss the like commute um for work or anything because like there certainly were times where I was like this is a hundred percent balls and I am not having a good time, um, but 
for the most part, I, I just I really like the city. I think it's a great place. Getting those, like, ranked up is just super rough. The one good thing about my heinous office job was the 11-minute walking commute. I mean, that was... It was one of the benefits when I um, got the job that I have now was that it was just like, well... It was... The commute became, like, public transportation, which I definitely prefer to... Driving a car anywhere in New Jersey during uh, rush hour traffic, which is always hideous. Um, especially if you're in a place that is crowded and, like, let's be frank, it's all fucking crowded. <laughs> oh, wait, how's the staff? Staff looking good. No panties barbecue! Alright, see, it's in pretty good shape. Driving, it's like. <sighs> That's the thing, too, is there's like so. There's like. S different kinds of driving, right? There's like. Driving when I lived in Mississippi, which is like just rural. Um, where you can, like, the problem there is just that, like, you have to go so far in between things, everything takes forever. And then driving it, like, around Atlanta, where everything is, like, terrifying. Um, let's get driving. This is fine. And then the problem with Jersey is like there's just always especially during rush hour there's so many cars on the road and people just are they the they're, they're I feel like driving in a really aggressive manner So it was like pretty scary when I first started doing it um Let's try urban gray. I want to see what that looks like. Hmm. Okay. Ah, everything feels fresh. Let me know if you want to change it again. Cool. And take my money and go buy something else. It's like where I really didn't want to learn how to drive um, when I was supposed to learn. Like I kind of fought my parents on it because like I just found the whole thing pretty scary, um, and like was not a fan. Um, but I kind of had to because everything is so far apart in Alabama, and there's like. There just is not public transportation. It just does Whoa. not exist. Um, so you're kind of stuck. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Oh, dang. I never went to the... Well, what am I close to? Uh... Okay, I can go to this ramen place. Sure. Is that not Kushi number one star? Oh, maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's like, e oh my god, his face! Oh! It's like, even though I really didn't want to learn, they kind of made me, and then like... At a certain point, I was like, oh, this is the key to getting out of this house and staying out of the house, which I very, very much wanted to do because it was not a fun place to be. Um, so it was like, oh, okay, so if I can drive and I have this place, I can go away from here. 
And so um, that's when I kind of like more embraced it because I just really wanted to get away from yes, my parents. Sir. Hey, welcome. Yum. Oh, oh. Pretty filling. Thank you. It's all good stuff. Ooh, you know what I should have for dinner? Some kind of soup. That sounds like a good idea because I am feeling a little bit uh, tight and like can you know like with the cold a bit congested and I feel like some good soup would be really awesome for that um there's a place around here that makes really really good hot and sour soup and I'm just like oh I love it it's just like the perfect amount of spiciness you got it all by yourself sweetheart what's going on over here I feel like this is not the thing. Oh, for God's sake. Somebody is hollering. Oh, you had tacos? That's nice. I don't think I have anything to show that guy. People are yelling, and I don't know where they're yelling from. Is it over here? I can't go in there. Is it down this way? Hard to say. Okay. I don't know. Uh, hmm. Well, maybe it was those guys. I don't know. Ooh, what was this? Something, something? Did I... Come on, where's the place? Really hard to find. Ooh. Orgando Arts. They deal in old artwork and antiques. What should I do? Purchase. Buddy. Like, you know what I'm not gonna do? Play Shogi! That's what I'm not gonna do, because I already can't really play chess. And Shogi is like chess, except it's not like chess, and that's confusing. Um, should I talk to this guy? I guess I will. Hey, buddy! You're out on the prowl again, too, huh? I'm not like you! I just happen to be in the area. I have to keep tabs on what's going on around town. Mm. I'm sure. If that's true, why are you working so hard to build your telephone card collection? Let me see it. Yeah. I'm not working hard. I just pick up what I find. <laughs> sure, whatever. Just hurry up and show me. Fine. Hodge is sitting on my foot. Yeah, I see it. Wow. How did he get away with printing this stuff on cards, man? It's almost criminal. Don't worry. Most people don't see what you do. What does it mean when a cat comes and sits right on your foot? Oh, yeah? You watch a lot of porn. Not really, to tell the truth. Why do you ask? You know how they pixelate everything to censor it? Lately, I've been able to see past that, too. Hello, Hodge friend. I hope you are being nice. I too hope he is being nice. He is considering the cords and wondering if he wants to chew on them. Nice. I don't know. Oh, okay. All right, so I gotta, I gotta take a break and uh, take a buddy upstairs. So just give me one sec.
well, I took him upstairs to the bedroom so he could have a little chill out time out. And then he bit me really hard. So, uh, fa fairly normal interaction. <laughs> He's so grumpy. It's like, sometimes I can tell he wants my attention or he wants like some snuggles. But then if I try to give him attention, he also gets mad. And so I'm like, buddy, I don't know what to give you. You don't want me not to pay attention to you, but you do want me to pay attention to you. And you're mad either way. It seems like maybe you just made up your mind to be mad. And so maybe you should just go chill out for a little while. <laughs> As you can imagine, the first time I pulled it off, I was so pumped I got a nosebleed. Now I don't even need devices to bypass the censoring. Oh my lord. He's a little bit of a grumpy guy. Huh. I mean, I think... I think that he has been a little unsettled by Sparkles being sick. But also, he is kind of just like this, too. I'm all done. Boy, that was a masterpiece. <laughs> I guess you're heading to another girly place now. You don't seem the type to stop at just looking. Now that you mention it, I do have an itch to scratch. Thought so. Okay, stay calm. I've got to keep my cool. Now, what is it my body really craves right now? Hmm... Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, it's cougar time, baby. See you around. Uh-oh, grumpy hodge friend. I'm kind of grumpy a lot, too. Can relate. I also can relate. Because I also get grumpy. And you know what? Sometimes I just need a, a soft place to go lay down and grump around until I feel better. And so that's, what, that's what hodge gets. And it's just like... He acts like we're being so mean, and he literally gets put in the bedroom for attacking other cats, chewing on electric cords, and it, I mean, we don't really even do it too much if he's attacking us. The, the reason I put him up there was because he was chewing on cords. I'm just like, we just don't want you to hurt other cats, and we don't want you to hurt yourself. And he's just like, your rules are too constricting. How dare! It's like, guy, the rules are not yeah. that complicated. Ooh. Or hard to follow? <sighs> He's just a grumpy boy. He's kind of always been like that. I thought that he was like... He is determined to stare death in the face and smack it with the divine paw of grumpiness. Oh, I see you've met him. <laughs> because, yes, that's exactly what he's like. He's just like, what if grump? And I'm like, what if not grump, buddy? What if not grump? And he's like, but what if grump? And I'm just like, okay, guy, have it your way. He's kind of always been like that. Like, I thought when I first... He tricked me. He tricked me. When I first found him, I was like, Oh, he's so sweet and cuddly. And the thing is, he's capable of that. But he's a lot more... Oh, no, it's a money battle. Come on, Sachiko. <laughs> There we go. Got it. He's he's real floppy when um when he's not feeling good. I'll just put, for the moment, I will put in her. And I will just swap these guys out. 
that undoes it. So that she can reboot, and then he needs to go. There you go, Officer Kikuchi. Let's just do all the staffing at once. That looks fine. Oof. Need somebody else. Okay, cool. So yeah, he's like real floppy when he's not feeling well. Like, I mean, which is, you know, so am I. Um, but we didn't realize when I found him or, you know, he kind of found me, but we didn't realize that he was really sick um, until we took him to the vet. And um, it turns out he wasn't uh, a super sweet, sweet buddy guy. He was just really sick. And when he got better, because, like, that dude was chilling in the bathroom, the, like, it's so tiny. It is like so tiny. It's it's a tiny, tiny bathroom, and he was just chillaxing and be and like as soon as he started feeling better, he got real mad. And like he liked it that we were like feeding him a lot. Like he was he was like that's dope. But uh, the rest of this, you can bite me because you don't let me out of this bathroom. And like we were like, no, you can't leave the bathroom because you're still sick and the other cats like can't be around you and then <laughs> he would just like he was like okay with me because like he did he picked me so he decided to follow me home so like he was like all right i picked you but like this guy like he was not okay with josh and he would just like like stand there and growl at josh while Josh was trying to use the bathroom. It's like, and I, that's when I was like, all right, you gotta start, you you need to be the one feeding this cat. Because if you feed him, then he'll be like, I love you because food is love. And, um, you know, he won't be mad at you. Also getting him neutered helped with some of the territorialness like quite a bit. Um, but he's always been a little bit of a grumpy guy. And he bites real hard. And he has now become gigantic. He's just like a gigantic guy. He's not the biggest cat I've ever seen. Because my best friend has um, a Russian blue cat, I guess. And like those... I don't know if Ludo is just, like, giant for that type of cat, or if that's just, like, a big breed, but, like, that cat is huge. Like, that's the biggest cat I've ever seen. I thought that cat was, like, a small panther. And he's, he, but, like, Ludo is a sweetie. Like, just, like, the world's biggest sweetiest little little guy and so you know cuz cuz my friends like oh well you know like at least Hodge is not as big as Udo and I'm like yeah but like he's not that much smaller than Ludo and Ludo doesn't try to like chew your arm off and Hodge does do shit like that cuz he's a dick um, especially when he gets mad, and he's too smart, which is, like, kind of frustrating, because I would like him to be a little bit less smart, and a l like, just a touch easier to deal with. Because Foxy, you could trick Foxy the same way every day for the rest of your life. She'll never figure it out. Whoa, the cat you grew up with was three feet? Wow. I mean, Hodge is like some kind of fancy cat or like partially some kind of fancy cat because 
because he's got spots instead of stripes. Like most tabbies are, um, you know, cats have that stripey thing, and there's only two, like, breeds of cats that have spots. I looked this up because the um, vet techs kind of were like, oh my god, this cat has spots. That's pretty unusual, especially in a stray. And so I was like, oh, is it? And so I was kind of looking it up. And, um, I mean, it's not impossible, but it is not, you know, usual. And, um, yeah, that's kind of... So I'm just like, pro possibly, like, um, like he's from a litter from a cat that, like, maybe, like, a show cat that got out and got, like, you know, we have a, a lot of ferals around here, so maybe a cat that got out Ooh. and, like, they were not happy about that and didn't take care, like, put the kittens out or... Maybe he escaped or something. I don't know. He was in pretty bad shape when we found him. And he was like... He's probably a Bengal mix. I think that's what people were, were saying before the last time I was kind of musing about him on Twitter. Um, because, like... He's just a mess. Um, Toten Shan. The to uh... Ton Sku Ramen here. Tonk Sku... Tonsoku ramen here is perfect food for after night drinking. What should I do? Yes, purchase. All right, Pleasure King area. Backyard breeders are not known for caring for their animals. That's true. I, yeah, I don't know because like it's it's a little confusing in some ways because like he's clearly like. He was clearly handled at some point when he was a kid. Because he was not feral. Um, he kind of had more of the, like, uh, behavior of a stray. Um, you know, he was dirty and, like, he wasn't able to really feed himself. They, they were, you know, he was fighting with the other cats. I don't think they were like, oh yeah, you're in our colony. Like, I don't mess with the ferals, you know, um, there's a lady around here who takes care of them, like, gives them some food to make sure, you know, tries to, like, uh, trap, works with, like, a trap, neuter, release, like, um, group for the, the feral colony in this area, um, so, you know, I just, I don't really mess with them, um, you know, because they're feral, but, like, I was just like, this guy didn't seem like a regular feral cat, so, they certainly weren't accepting him like he was a regular guy that they were used to having around. Um, he also is, like, Ooh. FIV positive, um, which the vet said probably would have happened from some kind of fight that, um, so... But he's not really, um, he's not really having problems, so. I mean, he's had some problems, but I think that they're not related to, like, the FIV so far. Um, it's more like he is not well socialized to other cats, and we, you know... He was already so big when we brought him into the house. He was the size of a, as a kitten, the size of a normal cat. And so he was trying to do kitten stuff with the cats who were already like, you know, for real adults and like didn't want to have anything to do with that. Um, he really has been through the ringer because he also like, in... 2019 he had um he had to have surgery for like um crystals um that he had blockages for so that also happened it's just it, my poor guy you know because they kept trying to do the thing with the catheter yes, and he just like it just wasn't working um and so we ended up having to get the surgery that they do for that 
Um, and he's been fine ever since, but it was it was a bit of a trial. Um, and it was pretty upsetting time. I was like really like I felt almost personally offended when like uh the quarantine stuff, ha like COVID stuff, happened like literally right after things had just started to look up from like a series of like terrible things that had happened in the back half of 2019 and I was like oh my god it's been two weeks since I finally felt like I wasn't gonna die and then this happens and then like cause like I didn't know how seriously to take it at first nobody really did um I mean I went home and stayed there but I, I guess I didn't, I, like many people, did not think, did not understand how long this was going to be, and I think some people never resign themselves to that. Like, at a certain point, I had kind of thought about it and done enough reading to, to kind of be like, it's going to be at least a year, um, because of the way that, like, doing new medicine works I'm like it's gonna be at least a year probably longer than that but I didn't think that thought until like the summer so I'll be doing the bruising I think you heard that guys get him I Hodge, like, he just remembers stuff, like, a, an amount of time that seems kind of wild for a cat. Um, like, like, I've never had a cat that clearly remembered things that happened, like, a month ago. And is still pissed about them. Like, Josh had to go on a work trip for his job, and it was, it was pretty long. It took, like, like two weeks, which is like, a pretty long time. And when he came back, um, this was, you know, obviously before COVID. But when he came back, Hodge was so angry at him. Like, when he was gone, he was like, where is Dad? What have you done with Dad? Give us Dad! He was so mad. And then, like, nothing I did made him happy. I tried giving him, like, pets and extra treats, and he would eat the treats and then just immediately go back to being mad. Um, like, you know, because I, because Josh feeds them. And so I, at first I was like, well, maybe he's like, no one's going to feed me. But I'm like, buddy, you clearly, people are feeding you. So, like, now you're, you're just mad. Like, you just decided you want to be mad still. And then, when Josh came home from his long business trip, which I hated because that is way, way, way too long. Um, then Hodge was mad at him for, like, a month. A little over a month. He would, like, look at Josh, who was he was, like, cuddle buddies with, right? He would look at Josh and make sure Josh was looking at him. And then he would look at me and then he would come and sit on my lap instead. And then he would look to see if Josh was watching him. Like, dude, like, I just have never seen a cat act this way. Like, could you be a little less smart? It's kind of spooky. Right. Oh no! It's a money battle! Oh god, I'm really having to put in some money. Okay. Alright, I guess that one was fine. Hodge behaving like a spurned high school girl. I love it. He acts like... 
if like most cats kind of act like like toddlers and have the like you know object permanence and memory of toddlers hodge has the like memory of a teenager and it's not pleasant i do not like it i need him to like chill out and remember less stuff just like dude you know um like when we when he had his surgery he came back and he was just like super cuddly wuddly snuggly for ages like like they're taking cats away they're taking them away um and then after like about four or five days he was like wait a minute you're not taking cats away i just get to be here or he forgot about it but like i don't know sparkles is not like mad at us after she comes back from the vet she's just like "Woo, good to be back and then she goes and sits on the couch and it's like she never left <laughs> And Hodge is just like, how dare you take the magnificent Hodge to the vet? You will pay. Um, you know, depending on his mood, or sometimes he's like, oh god, they're stealing, they're stealing the people. And I just, he's such a weird dude. Lanka. You know, he got pretty upset when I was, um, I had, uh, like, a kidney infection a while back, and he got pretty upset then, but, like, he also wanted to sit with me the whole time, and then he was just, like, punishing Josh instead? That should work, right? Okay, thank you. He's just, like, real real weird guy I just want I'm like I want him to remember less stuff <laughs> because it's kind of it's just a little frustrating sometimes because you just want to be like Bro, could you just, like, chill out like a normal cat? And he is like, I will never, ever chill out like a normal cat. Never. It'll never happen. And I'm just like, <sighs> why? <coughs> I will literally never be chill. And I'm like, look. I understand that outlook because, like, I am that also that person. But, like, I'm telling you as your mom, your intelligence apparently does not correspond with happiness. Aw, you wrote apparently twice? That's fine. Um, no, the cat that we have that seems the most happy is Foxy, and she's, you know... But she's sweet. Oh no, there's a call. Oh, Mr. President, I'm sorry. Could you get the phone? Uh. Sure. Foxy is the extra floofy one. So she's floofy, and she's also a little bit of a ding dong. Hello? Greetings, Kiryu kun hmm? That voice. The Electronics King. What do you want? Are you free? I'd love to hang out and play a game with you. Hmm? Again? Games are so much more fun when you're playing against someone. Come on. Humor me. I'm at my base, okay? I'll be waiting. Was that by any chance? The Electronics King? Uh. Yeah. He wants me to play a game with him. Mm. I wonder what that means. Please be careful. Uh. Yeah. What does he mean by game? I had a bad feeling about this. Better make sure I'm ready before he heading out. Alright. I'm gonna go whip this guy's ass. Oh my god. Is this like a whole ass safe? Jesus. What the fuck? You know, I'm... Mm, I guess I get it. 
I'm just not used to seeing bank level safes in people's like whole businesses. Is the electronics guy gonna do a saw? Nah, I think he just wants to have a little punch up. I have to figure out where he is though, I don't remember. Uh, alright, well, I'll just go around the Sega and we'll see if that's where he is. Ooh, wow, he is really napping. What the heck? That is some kind of snoring. Is this it? No? Oh, you know what? I bet. Okay. Business. doesn't tell me where he is. Ooh, that's annoying. I want to fight you. I want to find the guy. Vending. It's a dream machine. Insert uh, 10 grand to make your dreams come true. Maybe I'm doing it. Paid ten grand. Gold champagne. All right. Where is he? You know what? Rather than hunt this guy down, I might just try to find another place to buy. Uh, what do I gotta get? Okay, so Pleasure King area. Sexual harassment cop. Okay. We go to Pink Street. Ah, uh, that's a name that you could have for a business. Isn't that all cops? Yeah, probably. Got him. Oh, you want to get some punchy in your face too? I can punch you right in your face. Bing, bang, punch, boom. There you go. Yep, you should shiver. Now it's got bang, bang. Wah! I know what to do. I'm going to go find that place. Maybe the... Something I can purchase... Oh, another vending machine. Yes! Ten grand to make your dreams come true. Oh. Hey, that's pretty decent. Uh, anything here? Pink street. Look. Arabia Records. They sell a lot of used records and CDs. What should I do? Gimme, gimme, give it to me. Maybe a record's received. Alright. Where is this doofus? Oh, I'm just gonna go to Sushi Gen and eat some more sushi. What the Excuse me! I gotta go to the place and do the thing. Alright. Here we go. Hello, it's me, your friend. I would like to order. I do not have fish to give. Okay. <laughs> Delicious. The other kind of soup that we could get is ramen, because there is a place who will deliver ramen, and it's so fucking good. <coughs> Oh my god, it's so good. Okay, now I go into my inventory and I take this App Stem RX. Stimulates the appetite by improving digestive tract function. And it takes some of my health bar away so I can eat again. 
I would like to order, please. I'll take the Otoro. He likes it. Looks delish. Hope you enjoyed the meal. He was like, I did. All right, let's see if we can find this goober. Where he is. Hey, Electronics King, where are you at? He's like at his base. Like, where the fuck is his base? I don't remember. If they said I was paying attention. Oh, if all you've had is just like ramen in the package, then like, if you ever get a chance to try like, um, like Japanese style ramen that someone's like made with the, the miso broth and the like, um, you know, either depending on like your preference, like the, the fried tofu bits in it. Or the um, pork pieces, soft-boiled egg, bean sprouts. It's just like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. The noodles are good. The broth is delicious. Little pork bits fall into pieces. Like little sharp, crunchy tofu bits. Um, it's just like, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's, it's everything. Ah, yes. Good soft-boiled egg. And you can, like... And it's in with the soup. It's so good. It's so good. Somebody's getting mugged. Where is that happening at? Is it happening back here? Uh... That's weird. Huh. That must be a glitch. Because, like, Bacchus is also still back there for trading. So, wow. That's not really... Hmm. A little bit weird, but... They must just, like, auto-generate at certain places. Hey! Vending! How dare you interrupt my vending? Ah! Oh, get him! Punch, punch, love it. Maggoty! Alright, you. Ah! Oh, <laughs> got your back. You thought you were gonna get me, but I got you. Oh! 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 You're so sad! Getting him! Yes! Never get between a man and his vending machine. I know, right? If you'll excuse me, I have vending to do, thank you. This is a dream machine. You insert ten grand and you make your dreams come true. Maybe. <laughs> oh, good. That's a good one. Okay. All right. So I need to kind of start looking for a save point here. Okay. I will go this way and go towards this one. Ooh. Abstem is pretty good. I should... You know what? Alright, I'm gonna help her. Please help! We're just getting to the good part. Don't even think about butting in. Dweeb! <laughs> Dweeb. Why don't you go home before I get real mad? Psh, what can you do against all of us? Waste this narc! 
You are the one who will be wasted. Hey, how dare. up in the air that's not that's how you know you lost the fight it was a bad idea we won't do this again how can I ever thank you enough please take this it's the least I can do stamina royale those are good save the game and use the item box all right y'all that is the stream Ooh, excuse me it's your Friday night. Can't stop dancing. So have a good Friday night or Friday day or whatever it is, wherever you are, whenever you see this. I hope you have a good time. I'm going to go have a good time. So you should too. My name is Allie. I'm from OK to be fat because it is OK to be fat. Thank you to everybody who uh, was chatting in the stream. You guys make this so much fun and I really appreciate it. And thank you to everybody who came by. Um, if you if you don't want to chat, lurking is good. Anybody who comes by the stream makes the stream a good stream. So thank you. I appreciate it. I'll be back on Monday, 5 to 7. Um, if you want to know the rest of the stream schedule, just check the channel. And um, VODs are going up pretty regular on YouTube. But you can also watch them on Twitch if you ever miss a stream. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much. I got to go. Bye. Oops.